like three and then it just went on for like 30 minutes. <laughs> so, not really. All right, well, here's what we're going to do in here. We're going to get these started, but we're going to open up with this intro and you're going to read the oldest. You're going to read the last like three or four messages of why they were banned. And then you're going to say what they're on ban is. And you're going to be reading some Google Docs. Do you know what Google no, Docs? I, I got Google Docs already open. From these guys. All right, let's go. All right, with that said, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, remember, if you get banned in this chat, you're basically worse than anyone ever. All right, Austin, so go to the oldest. What do you see? All right, we have starting with Wacky Beast. All right, go to... Uh, yeah, he said, here we go. I'm bored, scanning for content, mid, 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 and then a couple of Z spams, and then you packed him. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We have chapter one of why I was packed. I saw a big band wave coming and my homeboy Mellow got banned and since I run band world, I didn't want to leave him alone in the depths of band world. So I purposely got packed up just to join my boy Mellow. Not to forget the stream was also getting stale since there hasn't been any form of content on my favorite game of Fortnite this season. The stream was getting extremely boring. I really was getting sleepy from all the mid-ass content you were producing. I was also in a really bad mood because my dad's pussy juices kept like leaking out and forcing me to clean them up. His dude, what is this? His pussy juices smell like untamed rotten gorilla digs. His juices leak after he gets his pussy brutally fucked by unfinished sperm playmaker digs. <laughs> It gets brutally disgusting and gross. Chapter 2, My Dad's Valentine Birdie. My dad is planning on throwing this crazy, wacky, untamed Valentine's party. He said he's inviting all of his friends. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, Bill Cosby, Andrew and Tristan Tate. Not to forget his well-known, beloved friend. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not Wait, read that. who's his best friend, Austin? Who is it? Who is it? Yeah, he, we can't read that. Wait, is his first initial, is it A-H? Is, are his initials A-H? No. <laughs> anyway, my, my dad said this party is going to be filled with all types of people and free food, free complimentary dildos, and said everyone that attends the party is going to be welcome. <laughs> with their own hunky groupie that is willing to do anything and will blow your cock on demand, kind of like their own version of my dad. <laughs> Three hours into Valentine's party and a bunch of celebrities are here. The party's looking like an Illuminati party. People snorting cocaine off each other's tits and Molly flying around. People are ODing, narking, and tossed back and forth. My favorite rapper, Travis Scott, is now performing. Twelve people got trampled and died. <laughs> Chapter 3, my dad. A day in my dad's life. My dad's life consists of him going to his brutal pussy pounding construction job and coming home. Then blowing his daily untamed, disclosed unproportionized acne covered chewed. My dad is a squawking sperm sponge. He is basically the sperm version of Spongebob. My dad is a deck collecting seed spewing sperm influencer. My dad does make content on his Patreon. My dad is basically sper my dad basically does sperm mukbangs. My dad has opened a sperm doctor's office. He claims that if you drink sperm you can boost your immune system and raise your testosterone levels. My dad now makes me his own custom-made sperm soup when I get sick. Oh my god. Chapter 4, oh my, god. my dad loves gay orangutan dicks. My dad loves blowing undamed, unforgiving, unloving, undisclosed, uncaged, unhinged, bastard Scooby-Doo dicks. My dad started blowing dicks at the age of 19 when his dad introduced him to them. My dad is a useless, fat tax evading sack of shit. This all could have been avoided if my grandpa used a rubber. I simply hate my dad. I wish the worst for that hell, man. My dad is Satan sent man. My dad is compared to my dad as the modern day Hitler. My dad is also a sperm scorpion. And then he attacked a, or he attached a screenshot of him asking Scoobs where his girl is, and uh, Scoob said she left me. <laughs> Oh, bro, 
Why would you ever put that much effort into an unban request? <laughs> like, dude, you deadass, you want to type and write, bro. Like, actually. Like, be an author. You obviously have some sort of craving to write novels. <laughs> I can't remember writing that much for a school paper, man. What are you doing? I'm saying, I'm sa I can't fathom putting that much effort over and over again into an action man unbanned. The fuck is wrong with you, man? I am getting drunk. I'm too drunk. All right, go to the next one, Austin. Unban him. Unban. Yeah. Right. Uh, we got Leland. Wait, let me take some unbans really fast. We got er, subs. Jesus Christ. Boost Lee, 16 months. Old Tay Tay with a refollow. Don't really care if he does refollow. He only trolls me. We don't need him. TST Stallion, 69 with a tier one. Welcome, Stallion, to the gayest, most retarded, stupid ass community to ever be born on this whole platform. So, yeah, thank you. This is TST Stallion, 69. Where you at, baby? Inferno Cutie with the one year, Dudley Tunes with the six months, Nordstrom Gaming with the 21 months, Tuna EC with the tier one sub gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Chad with the follow, AD Stizzy with the follow, Jax Beck, thanks for the follow. Not reading the guys you unfollowed and refollowed. Stop fucking up your follower date, stupid. You do that again, I'll probably ban you. All right, go to the next one. We got Leland KO. Deanna, Deanna, Dan, thank you for the 200 bits, Dan. I appreciate you. He said, give me Fortnite, please. Fuck a number, fuck numbers. This is Twitch, not Discord. And then you banned him. Who the fuck are you talking to? <clears throat> we have another four chapter story here. From who? Leland. Okay, go to, uh, okay. What did Leland get banned for? Yeah, Bang TTV. I, He's gonna ask questions. Wait, Austin, we're in the Discord together. Bang TTV has a serious question regarding streaming. All right, Bang TTV, answer your question. Ask your question. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Answer your question. Ask your question. Watch. Let him ask. Give him a sec. Stop. Give me a sec. Come on, dude. The stream's waiting on you. I'm I'm a part of the streamer on Facebook. I'm thinking of making a move to Twitch. Should I or should I not? Awesome. Thoughts. Austin, now in case chat wait, chat doesn't know. Guys, when I'm off stream, I ask Austin. I I harass him. Guys, with questions, I've asked, I've been asking questions, how to grow the stream, what should I do for years, so I'm saying this is kind of funny, in case you don't know the context behind this, so like, he's annoyed by this, from me, not him. So, Austin, what would you say to him? Maybe he's blowing up in one of four, or Facebook's top five streamers. What about, know. is he a female? Is that, I'm saying, what would you say in regards to his gender? Doesn't matter. <laughs> We've always argued about this for years, Austin, have we not, yes or no? Why? You, you know it fucking matters. Just met Jamie. Gets more just chatting followers. Than me. <laughs> yes, dude. Facebook is dying fast. Co-stream and be on Twitch, man. Make out Hill posts hundreds of viewers. Make out Hill has got a fucking crazy community from Facebook. Get off of Facebook, dude. Yes, get off of Facebook. That is the Titanic. Stream on Facebook, and the whole time you're live on Facebook, push your whole stream to Twitch. Get off Titanic. Men, women, and children, get off Titanic. Okay, is that a fair assessment, Austin? Algorithm broke. You used to sit on 2K viewers. Now I'm struggling to hit under a stream. Just stream to everything at the same 2K time. 2K viewers on Facebook? Bat. Am I wrong for calling Cap on that? 2K on Facebook? I'd have to know who you are, yes or no. I mean, I doubt you'd know it's Facebook. 2K concurrent on Facebook. Corinna wasn't hitting that, though. Bro, I don't know who's number one on Facebook. Dude, Corinna wasn't hitting 2K, though. Am I approaching this the wrong way? Dude, get off, get off Facebook either way. I'm sorry for saying that. I should not be saying that to someone that's asking for advice. That was really shitty to say. My fault. My bad. My, my bad. My bad. I'm a little drinking. You hit a deep algorithm, you reach 4.5 million a month, seriously? <laughs> seriously, what? wait a second here, okay, wait. 
just link your Facebook. Yeah, wait, link your Facebook. <laughs> like, yeah. Now you can link your Facebook because now I'm a little curious here. Link that Facebook really fast. 2K concurrent is you. How are you pulling 100 up 2K? Per minute. I know you don't support racism and homophobia, but he says that shit on kick. He's very homophobic, not a good guy to be around. Bro, what am I hearing right now, man? Dude, if you get offended... Some photo shots? Just link your Facebook stream. Link your Facebook stream, dude. Link your Facebook stream. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, how are you out viewing Corinna is what I'm saying. I mean, if he is, I need to take notes. That's If he's out viewing Corinna on Facebook, I'm saying get this guy in Discord because we got to talk. Casey, thank you for the 13 months, Casey. D, stay the 25 months. Me, yeah, yeah, bro, dead ass. I'm not even trolling. <laughs> this guy's got something that I don't know. If you're if you're pulling 2K on Facebook, you got something you you know that I don't. <coughs> oh. Let's get him in here. Let's talk. Plus five conversation. No, 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 no. Get him in Discord. I, I, I got to talk to this guy. Because if he's doing something that's getting him 2K concurrent, this guy's got the best content I've ever seen. And I need his help more than he needs mine. If you get 2K concurrent, you should be able to get 500 on Facebook or on Twitch. Right? Makeout Hill was pulling the same viewership. You should you should talk to Makeout Hill, dude. That's who you should talk to. He actually came from Facebook, right? I have no idea. Makeout Hill came from Facebook, dude. He pulls crazy viewership. But he has the I I think Makeout Hill has the craziest like under like right around 1000 viewer community on Twitch. That's a crazy community. Not many people come over like that like they did for him. He's got a crazy supportive community. It's hard. No, it's very hard. Like, if I were to stream on, like, another site, I don't know what I would... I actually don't know what I would get. Like, a comparative site. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm saying, if I were to go on Facebook, I don't know what I would pull. You know what I mean? Is he joining? Says he has 8.K, 3 followers. And 200 followers on the gram. Dude, didn't he say he had 4.5? Wait, wait. Average 2K, bro. <laughs> he said he had 4.5 million followers. This guy's linking me at Facebook. That's him? Where's the four? He said viewers? Oh, he said 4.5K. So you were getting 4.5k viewers on 2,000 followers, or eight? You were getting 2,000 viewers on 8.3k followers. Bat. In Discord, let's get him up here. Let's let's let him talk. Let's let him talk. There he is. He's up here. Bring him up. What's up, bro? No, it's got. Yo, when I call Cap, I'm not calling Cap to say like. Fuck you. I'm saying that's an incredible achievement. So you were pulling 2,000 concurrent live viewers on, on Facebook. Yeah, so like early last year. Ooh, um, I love your accent. Like mm. November, November through to like March area. Um, okay. Always like, it, it was something wrong with Facebook. You hit the, you spun the love heart button. You were just getting, the reach was like fucking insane. Where dude. are you from, by the um, way? I love your accent, dude. Oh, Midlands, UK. Um, is that by Paris? I'm gonna go to Paris, SwitchCon. Are we gonna? Nah, that's France. Oh. <laughs> that's France, bro. Anyway. I'm a little, I'm a little bit north of that. Ooh, I like your voice, bro. All right, keep talking to me though. But no, I was um, yeah, I, I hit like a really deep algorithm. Um, I'm just looking out actually at a screenshot from uh, not for December 2021. Um, was this for like a brief period of time, or were you just fully averaging this for months on end? No, so this happened for like three months straight. So it was so a three month was, burst. Yeah, so I, I was like going live and then um, I was sat there. I was like, you know, people were coming in. And then um, within the first 10 minutes, I'd be sat on 400. And then 10 minutes after that, I'd be on 900. Then 10 minutes after that, I'll be on 1200. And then I'll be sitting on 2K. And then it dipped down to about 1100, then back up to 2K again. Um, and it was like that because I only used to do two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, um, and and then like like that was morning and evening, and you know. So when the algorithm like, was, went away, what were you averaging like as the algorithm slowed down? So the reason the algorithm slowed down is my uh, my pap died and I went off the rails a little bit, so I stopped streaming for like. Your dad 15. died. I'm sorry for your loss, bro. Fuck. Nah, I appreciate you, man. Oh. Um, it, I, I stopped streaming for about a month and a half, and then I come back on and. Facebook kind of forgot about me. 
started streaming hard again. I got offered a partnership, um, and now I'm just trying to rebuild it. But it's getting it's getting to a point now where I'm like, is it really worth that grind? Because it's broken, man. Like they've broken something. And like I had a meeting with partner managers like last week, and I'm like, why is it so fucking broken? Because I, you know, I've had to go back and get a day job. Um, you know, I can't actually live off the streaming no more, and, and now I'm just... You know, so I'm you just were living off this, so you were li dead ass. you were full-time, you were living off this. Yeah, I made like 27 grand a month for about oh, six Facebook? months straight. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I swear to you, Action Man, mate, I watch you every no, fucking stream. No, I stream, swear, mate. I believe you, I'm saying to I don't, you. Wait, Austin, awesome. isn't this crazy? Austin, awesome. what are your thoughts yeah, about this? Was... Chime in, Austin. Awesome. I want to hear Austin's thought. Dude, I don't believe you. Why lie? Why would he join this call and lie? Right, why would he nah, join mate, this call? I'm not, I'm not blowing you up, bro. Why would I'm he join this call? To jump, 20, how would you make 27k a month off Facebook? Yeah, well, mate, the, mate, the algorithm used to be popping. Like, we've lost, I don't know what, last month we lost, like, 15 fucking really good partnered streamers. We're just about to lose another one who's coming over to Twitch. Um, and, he, like, his name's, you know, I Am Nasty. And he's, he's, mate, he's constantly sat on, like, four or 500 people, but... He's making the move because some <sighs> don't really want to say this on air, bro. I know you got like fucking 1.1k people watching. Like, I'm, you know, I love Facebook a bit, bro, and I'm very loyal to him. But um, you're, you're, you're they, not, it's like you, the opportunities feels gone. Yeah, mate, I've been grinding for the last well since since you know I uh, I lost you know since I come back after my pack died and right. Um, yeah, it's not changing, dude. But I'm, I'm looking at all my stats now and it's fucking dire. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Dude, Austin, awesome. what advice do you... I don't know how to do this. is a tough one. I would definitely say you have to dual stream. So what do you average now, viewership-wise? Like, what is your concurrent viewership average now? I'll be honest, I stream for two hours. I'm struggling to hit 1K for views. Like, as in 1K views for the whole stream. Oh, so you're like, saying, like, so what's your, like, concurrent... View, what would you say is your concurrent viewership? Like, like what, 50, 60? Or, like, what would you say, like... You know what, mate? It all depends what game I play. Like, if I play... Like, I, I, I started streaming in, a, like... Uh, halfway through lockdown, so it's going good. I mean, I started doing like simulator games, um, like farming sim, Euro Truck, American Truck, and it was really, really good. But the problem with Facebook, if you change games, it's just fucking you. you that's, any, games, that's any. That's any. That's any. That's any platform. That's oh, any, okay. I, I deal with the same thing on Twitch. I, that's why you, if you see me watching videos, I do it on Fortnite to keep me in the algorithm. Going to just chatting, you're, you're dealing with the new audience. Yes. Yeah. And, and yeah, it's just fuck, dude. Like, I've tried to do COD, and because it's so oversaturated, it's hard to. Even on Facebook, it's oversaturated? Going. Oh, mate, yeah. So the wait, 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 wait. What like, do you the... average? What do you average right now? I don't mean to cut you off. What do you average viewership wise right now? Like, concurrent average viewership on, on Facebook right now? What, in a month? No, no, no. Like, today, if you were to go live right now, how many concurrent viewers would you average right now? Probably 20. 20? Yeah. yeah. And it's all to do with algorithm. Like, I've spoken to my partner managers. And I'll tell but you I'm something that. Two thousand concurrent. You got to understand. That's a that's an insane number that people with millions and millions of followers don't hit. Yeah. So I'm but saying, now like, the, the, however, you hit that, was... however you hit that, to say you're gonna get that on another platform, I know guys that have millions of subs on YouTube that can't hit that. Like Fulcrum, yeah, you know nah. who Fulcrum is the popular YouTuber who gets high in places. Yeah. He can't pull two K. Yeah, YouTube. but it, like, what happened? What happened through that stage of Facebook was the algorithm. Um, because it's whole whole of meta is built on a fucking algorithm, dude. I know most things are, but it's it's like when you're so live, it's all it, so you're saying there so, aren't people scrolling to find Facebook streamers. That's sort of what you're no. saying. So, no, you so have basically, to right. the only reason, you, the only way you get new followers is if you get reach. So the, the thing is, like through that stage of Facebook, there was a lot of low end streamers. Like, I, I think I I was pulling in all those viewers when I had about. 1.9k followers and then i shot straight up to like 8 8k um you know through that stage and and something was broke with facebook like and it's a bit of a cheat of the system really but um you know I, I there was a couple of streamers we worked on a few like we sat there had a couple of meetings and we, you know we tried to work out how we're going to get more of a reach and we worked out if you get your viewers to spam the love heart button it pushes you out your channel more like on tiktok yeah 
Yeah, yeah, and that's what yeah, we were yeah. doing. But that's problematic. And See, that algorithm doesn't work because I, I, because unless you're popping at that moment, it stops pushing you out. That was the problem that TikTok has. The second that your clips and anything else around it stops pulling what it used to, it stops pushing you out as much as it used to. That's what I noticed about that. Yeah, about I'm, I'm, I'm not joking, right? You know, the big biggest thing that proper like buried me in the ground, right, was the second. Now, Facebook, if there's any of you from Facebook, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna tell the fucking truth. Uh, what killed me was the second my page changed from level up to partner. That absolutely so, destroyed. So they made my it page. less about the people clicking to promote a stream. They made it more about long-term consistency. But there's not the following yeah. or viewership on the site to have that happen. Well, I've kicked off. I'd actually got in touch with Meta, and I was like, "Listen, man, what, what's going on with my page? Like, my reach has dropped by thousands upon thousands since being, you know, since you've changed my page to to partner." I said, um, like, what's going on? And they was like, oh, did you not get told by your partner managers that your whole, like, Facebook completely forgets about it? Right, listen to this, this is going to throw your brain. So when you become, well, when you go from level up to partner, Facebook forget about you and you have to reset. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. your page has been deleted and you've got zero followers. So I'm now trying to come back from that. Um, but the problem is now Meta is more concentrated on, you know what, go and create three rooms a week. And then, you know, we'll push your stream. Like, li live streams now don't go anywhere. Right, right, and that's right, right. It's all about reels and all about VODs, videos on demand, and right. that is it. And it's right. killing no, a lot agree. of streams. I agree, I agree. The, clip, the clip theory, you know, you cover more ground with the clips than live streaming. You know, I mean, that's about yeah. really it. Yeah, yeah. I get and what you're I, To be honest with you, like, it's, it's fucking, it's hard, man. And I'm Dude, looking at I all mean, my friends. Dude, I mean, I know it's hard, bro. I take things. breaks because I'm, I'm, I get it. I understand it. And to do it with less of a following, you know, or a smaller following on one site, I mean, dude, my advice is, to, my advice would be to co-stream on Facebook with Twitch, and then it's about getting that content, dude. I like to say that next yeah. rice gum content, something so over the top, so that, something so new and innovative, yeah. they have to see it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when Rice yeah, Gun put agree, a girl man. on that on the corner of a stream, that was crazy. Whoa, I want to see this. That's what you have to have. That's what I always try to tell people trying to make it. You have to have content that's popping off of the page. Like you can't be just mediocre. You can't be sort of funny or sort of gooder. Or even, you know, with girls, sort of good looking. I know that comes off the wrong way, but I'm saying you have to be operating at whatever you're doing at the highest level. That's what people want yeah, to see. Yeah. And for the same I reason do, why yeah. if you go to the NBA or the NFL, they're not trying to watch a guy who's sort of good at basketball. You know what yeah, I'm saying? They're not, not trying to watch agree, that. Yeah. They're trying to watch guys that are, you know what I'm saying, like, great at basketball. They're, they're it's trying just, to watch it's just standing James. out from the crowd, isn't it? Right, it's like, exactly. if, if there was a thousand people, if there was a thousand people, uh, you know, on, on a football, like, uh, say if there's a thousand people in a massive, massive room, right, and someone's got a fucking Pikachu hat on, you're going to notice him before anyone else. Right, the point I'm trying to make is, obviously, I'm not saying, you know, put a girl on the top left-hand corner of your screen and you're going to get rice cream results. I'm saying the, I, the concept behind him making it as a creator is to be putting out content so fire that you have to fucking watch it. Or you feel like you're missing out on some aiding, collaborating. Anyone do it like, you know, Kai with the fucking house. It's rigged with cameras. Something just, yeah. this is sticking out. Because the reality is, why would you think that this is going to be your job if there's millions of fucking people? trying exactly to do what you're trying to do and the thing is i know yeah. i'm getting i'm sitting the thing is you also have to be realistic of where you are and who you are and where you stand i know me sitting on fortnite is me putting a band-aid on cancer okay that was that's not what i meant at all what yeah, I, what, yeah. that's what me no bro the other oh you're telling that guy to look at dms no bro you oh on twitter or, <laughs> or fucking facebook or uh, not facebook Twitter. Well, I have to say, Miss. Right, I, I have to say, man. Like before, you guys boot me out of the chat. We're not gonna boot you. Um, man. I appreciate your content, man. No, I appreciate I'm, you. I'm man. slightly fucking hooked. If I'm honest with you, it's like 40 minutes into Friday right now. I'm DJing in about 12 hours. <laughs> no, a bit longer than that actually. What's that? 20 hours. No. Yeah, in about 20 hours, and I'm sat here watching you. I absolutely appreciate your content, bro. I appreciate you, man. I, I wish you the best of luck on, on your journey, man. I really, really do, dog. I want to say, I mean, if you just fucking, I got you. I mean, if there's more I can say or do, I wish I could, man. But that's about all I can really do right now, man. But I fuck with you, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, you have to understand that you, this is online Hollywood. You're trying to, like, look at it. You're not trying yeah. to be a streamer. You're trying to be an actor. Sure. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that that way. You're, look, you're trying to be a pro athlete. You're trying to be something that's so marginalized that you have to stand out, period. So, yeah. like, people will you know, send me comments. People are only there to, to watch you, to watch you break down. They're not actually there to support you. And to an extent, that's true. But are you in the stream? So, now do you see the point? Like so, it's, so, it's like, so it's like now the alternative is what to be a pro Fortnite player with $500 earned in my bio, like the guy that sent me that DM. Is that the alternative? Come on, man. Stop it, man. But yeah. But anyways, yeah, man, I'm going to let you go. Me and my boy Austin, we got to finish these unbans, bro. But I want to say I appreciate you, bro. And thanks for joining court, all right, dog? I uh, appreciate you, man. Hopefully see you over one day. You will, bro. Much love, dog. All right, Austin, keep going, man. Chapter one for the land. scumbag roleplay. Ever since I was an itty bitty boy, all I can remember is how big of a scumbag my dad was. He constantly verbally abused me, saying I was worthless, scummy, fat, lazy, anorexic, and a pussy. I was two at the time. I remember going to bed at night dreaming about having a better family, a family like Aaron, a handsome, brilliant, smart father like Jeff, and whatever the hell his mom did. It's all I ever wished for. Chapter two. Dad. Somewhere I know my dad is drinking his Heineken while living at his 2002 Toyota Camry. Somehow he can't afford comfortable living space. He town sperm well. <laughs> he little to no effort getting a job walks around the town completely naked at times because his he's constantly getting in trouble with the law, which Mr. Travis should be very familiar with. I try to reach out to him, but it's no good. He doesn't respond. He's no father. He's just a drunk. Chapter 3, the biggest seed sith in town. He said he was a drunk man. drunk man spew seed in his fiddle Truck drivers, welders, plumbers, sewage workers, iron workers, and grocery baggers. This is how he earned his unique seed sith. He earned his unique ability to swallow seed and then use his seed for bending power. Bending powers to spew it out of his fiddle and back into the blue collar man's mouth. I witnessed it at once. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron. This is my conclusion, Aaron. I'm a worthless piece of shit who only makes your life miserable. I wish I could be like you, tall, handsome, funny, talented. Good at video games, and did I mention handsome? You're everything I want to be, but I'll never reach that status. You are the Johnny Appleseed. I'm sorry. I'm Bantam. God, yeah, these are people that are banned. You're bored! Hey guys, why not just backing out of the stream and annoying someone else so you're less bored? So if you're bored in this stream, I'm literally begging you to go watch somebody else. I'm saying, that's a crazy thing to fucking say. I'm begging you to fuck off and leave me alone. Holy fuck. All right, go there, to the next there. one. We got Bagel341. Who said you're not lagging bro lame excuse and then spammed z seven times his unbanned says my dad's a huge sperm kraken unban him <laughs> sperm kraken damn thgs said biggest fall off <laughs> And his unband said he fell off, lost gambling money. Thank God he gonna, you know, what because of his best. Lost gambling money. Imagine thinking that that money. Imagine thinking that that Bitcoin was me gambling with my Bitcoin, not the money stake paid me to gamble with. Do you see how, like, their brains are genuinely not as good as mine? They actually don't get it. They, wait, they truly don't understand that, man. Holy fuck. God. Wait, Austin, what do you make of that? They, they really, they really, really don't get it, dude. They really think that that's my, like that's, that's my money that I took out of my savings account and started gambling with. That's money steak gave me to gamble, man. What is wrong? Do you know what I made off them in six months? I'm saying, why are they... They have to figure out a reason in their head to cope with that. So they have to, they have to rearrange the amount of money that I was given in six months to handle having that be a reality. Man, I could never live my life. I could never imagine living my life 
and finding myself in that position of jealousy and delusion, it would never happen at my lowest point. And the thing is, I remember being a homeless heroin addict with nothing to my name and still not feeling like that guy did. The irony, the crazy irony is me remembering being a homeless drug addict and still not having that mentality is so mind blowing to me. I'm trying to figure out a position in your life where you think that is the right answer and you think that makes sense. Dude, like, how are some of these guys real? Alright, go on, Austin. So on Ben, I can no, no, ban that retard. <laughs> Uh, I hope you lost your gambling money. Yeah, dude, if you knew, just to put it in perspective, what Steak paid me, that guy's whole family bloodline hasn't made half in their whole existence. I'm talking about go back to the 1500s. I'm saying you can go back to the literal 1500s, and his family still hasn't grossed half of what Steak gave me in six months. And I wish it wasn't the truth, but it absolutely is. All right. One, two, three, nine, Ban both those guys. Step ban him, ban the other guy. Stop, stop. Let's get these guys up out of here. Step perma ban antics, perma ban the Scoobs troll account. Goodbye. Not seeing any money come from them, not seeing any reason to keep them here. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Yeah, I don't really think I need you guys here. Yeah, bye. Bye, weirdos. Bye, not being able to watch me without making my life annoying. See ya. See you in 10 seconds on your smurf or you'll type to no one because you're so addicted to watching me you don't know what to do. You're so addicted to watching me you have no idea how to handle yourself. Luigi1239, shut your mouth, soft on bands, I'm sleepy pack me, sleepy pack me, Z, 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 and then you banned him. Some band says Action Man's Monder Oils fell into his eye and I guess he thought I was spamming or something. That massive nose of his banned me. Action Man's nose is so fucking big that he could be a drug sniffing dog, and his specialty is heroin spelled just terribly wrong. His forehead is so big you could play a game of chess on it. Your hairline is so pushed back, it looks bald from the front and a rat laying on his head from the back. <laughs> Mayo, who, what's up, Banzi? Just remember, Bames would suck dick to be in a position. It's up, Ben said this. Yes, I did. Dude, I just shit on this guy in Asia. <laughs> I'm ban him. Downy Dom said, at its beat. The same copy and paste and broke the same rule I did. At its D's brings nothing to the stream as a VIP. Get the fuck out. And then his unban said, How am I fucking banned for arguing with this complete piece of shit waste of space? Unban me so I can talk to this little brick into a corner, which takes one or two messages, considering that all buddies pee size brain can handle. Every generation of D's family is nothing but seed blowing buffoons. Now they blew pussy dust out of their dick hole because there's no more seed. <laughs> Dude, you're so lucky you're on this retard ping. You should see this guy still be alive. You guys can fight each other, man. Both you guys are one literal cunt air from death, man. Like, what?
Dude. Bro, where is this guy? <laughs> These guys, should I laser this dude? That guy. <laughs> what up, Luna? And the winner is that guy. All right, go to the next one. Hopefully now. Yeah, Jay. You know what though? Instead of that, Jay, this is the time of the stream where you catch an hour timeout for sneak dissing and you get your 31st timeout. So, Jay, what do you want to say to the stream for you taking an hour off for sneak dissing? What do you want to say to that? What up, Leland? Yeah, I did. Yo, Jay, it's your time to take an hour off the stream. What do you want to say for annoying the absolute shit out, uh, the shit out of me? Jay, what do you want to say, man? <laughs> Second place was the other guy. All right. Yeah, Sasha, why did you unfollow the stream and refollow, Sasha? I saw that offline. I have a photographic memory. Oh, Wacky Beast, you're having a Z Overlord? All right, guys. Anybody give a shit if Wacky Beast gets tucked away for a while or no? Does anybody object to Wacky Beast? Ah! Alright, Aaron, you gotta tag Smokey and I gotta go. Dude, I'm a little too tipsy, dude. Fuck. Later, brother. Yo, chat, what is FNCS at? Ugh. Chat, what is FNCSN? I want to tie my vitamin. I want to tie my vitamin, man. When does FNCS start? Dequat thinks the 13 months, Claymaker 7 months. Yo, Makeout Hill, man. I found you someone that needs your advice, man. Yo, 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 wait. Makeout Hill. Talk to my man, man. Hey, he coming from Facebook. I said he my I said make out hill, my boy. Yo, make out hill. If I take a bunch of vitamins tonight, will you stay up? Or not, will you stay up? Will you be live? Uh, actually, no. I'm probably going to be burnt out tonight. But yo, tomorrow, though, I think I might have my doctor's appointment to get my vitamins legally. And then we can just talk about it legally on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my boy? Hey, yo, where my boy at, man? Hey, yo, message make out hill. You see me? Where my Facebook dog at? What's up, baby? Um, Bammy, that was soft. No, man, you trolling on a smurf, man. Fuck you. Rogue Outlaw with the five gifted, baby. I know I just met you, Rogue Outlaw. Where you at? Thank you for all you've done. Guys, can everybody give five... Let's see, who has money to give five subs? My two off days costed me 300 subscribers. 
God! Austin! My dreams! Austin! Where's Austin at? No, he's not in here. All right, Scott, Austin's done for the day. Austin, you're done. I don't want to wear Austin down. This is not what Austin's meant to do. Let me get Scott in here. I need to conserve Austin's. Austin, he's, yeah, I can't, I can't burn Austin out. You guys, if you don't know Austin, dude, APMH, he don't type that much. But you guys got to understand, without Austin, we literally would not be here today on Twitch. I'm not saying this is the craziest spot on Twitch ever, but I'm saying, like, I want you guys to understand, like, without him, dude, there is just no way, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way. All right. Scott, J up. Scott! Bo! All right. Wacky bees, pick a number, dude. Wacky bees, go fuck yourself. Your dad's a sperm hiatus. Your dad's a sperm hyena. It's the only spot on Twitch. All right, crazy looking like we got a bunch of dudes that are ready to get packed away, dude. They're just sucking all my energy up, dude. Wait, when does FNCS East end? I want to take my vitamin when it's ending and when I'm coming up. Yo. Bames, what up, dude? You want to stop using and abusing Scott, you piece dude, of I'm shit? Dude, I'm not abusing Scott, dude. Dude, yes, you are, man. You're fucking draining the fuck out of Scott. No, I'm not. What are you doing, man? Yo, message... Yo, dude, how many unbans are there, dude? Dude, leave Scott alone, man. Dude, how I many unbans are there? He's funny, though, Bames. Oh, fuck. Dude, Bames, you read him, dude. You're being a beast, dude. Yeah, all right. You got, you got. Yeah, I'll watch that. It ends at 8 p.m. Central. All right, so we got to we gotta buy another 30 minutes of uptime. You got 15, but I'm not doing jack. Fuck you. Dude, come on, Bangs. 15 for the boys. Dude, I would ever want to read about some dude talk about their fucking pops like that. Are you losing your mind? Dude, look at your smile right now. At the <laughs> dude, wait, wait, Bangs. Why does that You're bother so you? You're so weird. Wait, Bangs. Why does that bother you, though, bro? Let them shit talk about their dads. Dude, wait, Bangs is the funniest unbans. Bangs, wet their beak. Do one unban just to wet their beak, dude. Just to wet their beak, please. Don't pull, oh, wait, one last thing, though. Let me, what? What's up? You so soft, man. Just give me a little taste. <laughs> You're soft, bitch. Oh, fuck come you. on, babes. Let me get one. Let me get one, dude. One for the boys. Just one. I don't think you want to say that. Go fuck. Please, yourself. I'm begging you, though. Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. That's fair. I'm begging you, dude. Come on, dude. I'm begging you. What are you doing? You do it, man. Like what? I'm begging you. Dude, you're crazy if you think I'm doing that. Sam, thank you for the sub gift. Mrs. Gaines, thank you for the five months. Diana, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dude, come on, bro. Carry me for fucking uptime. I need 30 more minutes. Dude, has, has Makeout Hill done him yet? Or no? <laughs> we should have Makeout Hill. Dude, he should do it, bro. He's, He's got, got a funny funny. voice. He I does, dude. dude. He loves it. We could do Makeout Hill. He's pretty funny. Dude, in Makeout that. Hill, pop out. I'll screen share. All right, all right. <laughs> I could not him. I mean, I'm not against it. Yeah, you can do that too, yeah. Uh. Wait, is he in here? He might not be in here. Dude, he dipped out. He don't want to do this shit out there. Uh, no, he might be <laughs> talking to Buddy Ass from Facebook. Oh, shit. Show you how to do it and you'll try? Oh, my God. Shit, dude. Maybe we could do this off stream. Just fuck it. I mean, babes, do you want to read them? Do you dude, see you any? Mean, it's are, there, easy. are there any funny ones or no? Dude, I'm not reading that shit, bro. Are you, are you crazy? Spitball! Yeah! <laughs> he cracks me up. Spitball! It's so retarded. I'm, like, there are times I ban him, and he'll message me. I miss him so fucking much. <laughs> it shouldn't even be that funny That's to me. It's so stupid, dude. Such a retard. Yeah. I know. The stream is so, so stupid. The stream is so stupid, dude. It shouldn't even be a thing, man. All right.
go over here, dude. <laughs> he runs me. I missed you guys, man. Uh, I gotta slow down. Dude, I'm just having a good time, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Bames, chat. That's a big one, though. That's a big oh. one. You gotta admit. I'm what? gonna take my vitamin in like 20 minutes. Me not sure. having to get this. Me, no stream sniping or reduce. The NA Central server is a big one for me. You gotta admit. That's a big one. I don't think. Is your opinion even lower? It's probably the same. It's the same. It might be worse. It's similar. It's, but yeah. it's similar. That's all that matters. It's because worse. It stays in, um, yeah. How because is that not better, not, though? It's not even near you. It's in Texas. Yeah, it's I know. But I'm saying, dude, instead of having the bounds between NA East and NA Central, I can now add I, or NA Central or NA East and NA West. Now I can throw in a Central. Yeah. That's big, man. To say that's not big, it's going to make the stream better. No doubt. No doubt, the biggest problem with my content is the sniping. Now that's getting reduced. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, I just got a DM from uh, uh, Nick Mig or MIG3. He's oh, an, he's been he banned for years. No, no, he's been unbanned for so long. He needs an unblock. Wait, I just haven't seen him type. He needs an unblock. He can't type. Even though he's not banned. He got blocked by you. You blocked him. Yeah, so he was annoying you. the shit out of me. Yeah, so he needs an unblock, not even an unban. He right. did worse than a ban. He got blocked. I don't Dude, know how the fuck you're that stupid. I've to get literally, blocked. I've only done that literally to him, I think. <laughs> or like my absolute worst trolls. The absolute worst. Oh, Tell him I'll unblock him, dude. I don't know how the fuck you even do that. Yeah, I know, me and Turner had to play. He said he wanted to play the next tourney, dude. How do I go about that? Do you want me to type in his chat? I'm a fucking... He said, he said DM him. I can't! I did DM him! Yo, get this clip back to Turner. Screen record this. Everybody in here. I would miss one of my relatives' funerals to play Fortnite with you. So... Just understand... I want, you to, I want this to get back to you. I will drop... Whatever I'm doing to play with him, I want to play with It'd be such an honor. I don't know how I did DM him. I'm on my other Twitter account. He doesn't know. I don't want to go on in his stream when I'm a VIP and ask to play. That seems corny and tacky and disrespectful. So what do I do? Because that's not what I'm about. So you tell me, what do I do? Right? Thanks, chat. What do I do? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Just getting bored, not gonna lie. All right, dude, like I said, I'm not putting any energy until FNCS is over, dude. So just fucking close out of the stream. Like, I don't understand, like, why you're can't you guys watch somebody them? else if you're bored, man? Why tell me you're bored instead of leaving the stream and going to do something else? Like Holy fuck, dude. How do I get in? How do I DM him? Do you want me to type in his chat? I said, does, does AD play in those or no? Yeah, I could DM AD. Yeah, you could just have him do you a favor. I could DM AD and no. be like, dude, a T Turner said he wants me to get a hold of him. But dude, that even that makes me feel like a pussy. Even doing that makes you feel like a leech and a pussy. But he did ask me to hit him up. So that's the difference then, right? Because he literally asked me to, right? Right, chat? Yeah. He literally yeah. asked me to, so I'm not being cringe, right? That's you fair. You don't actually have a way to DM him, right? Right. Yeah, so just ask AD. Just be like, yo. Um, Why am I so anxious? Because I refuse to accept that I'm being looked at as giving a, getting a handout. I'd rather, because that's how ingrained in my DNA it is to not ask for a handout is. That's how ingrained it is. That's how, that's, that's how ingrained it is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and you fucking met him. Sure, we've gotten drunk already. I need to be like, oh, turn it play. Right. I need to. Uh, you're right. You're right, dude. You're right. 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 I literally party with him. I don't know what my deal is. Ah, uh, we're friends. I know, dude. It's his bro. Like, bro. Like, you're right. Talking about handouts because that's how. Because that if that doesn't let you into my brain, because that's how ingrained my brain is. So like, I don't want to be perceived as a certain way. You see what I'm saying? I'd rather never have the collab happen than you think that I begged my way into getting to the collab. 
You see what I'm saying? That's how my brain operates. I'd rather have you think I'm soft or you, you think that I'm, I'd rather have you just not know the collab was supposed to happen than you think like I try to like, like go out of my way and be like a puss ass dude or something. I don't fucking know. That's how, if you know, you know. If you understand, you understand. That's all I can say, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I've, like I'm saying, like, it's not even like his, like, stream. Like, I've, you see me. I've been on the Aiden E days. I've been with Felix, XQC. I've done, you know, cute by E days, collaborate with other people. It's not like I'm afraid to fucking, like, be on that stage. I just don't want it. Like, with all those people that either happen on action or they ask me to be there. So, like, I don't want to be perceived as I'm, I'm trying to get a handout. Does that make any sense? I don't want that perception to be a re, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, round, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I, I I know nobody will think that by doing this. Now, by there being full context of him asking me, now I can ask him without like feeling like a bitch or something like that. Does that make any sense? Or like, you know what I'm saying? That's just the reality of it. If you come, if you come from where I came from, you get it. If you come from like a not the streets, but you come from like that mentality where like you can't take a hand out or whatever. Dude, I'm just getting lit up, bro. Like. Dude, this guy just got lasered so bad. You the fuck out of that fuck. Wait, did you see that juke? Turner would like that one. <laughs> I stress myself out. Yeah, dude. This is the principles? I know. It's a boss. Okay. And it literally just ruined my. Two footsteps! <laughs> God! How? What the fuck, man? God. What did that guy do? Holy shit. Damn, y'all were on his ass. What'd that guy do? Doesn't he only hang out in here? He's being a retard. And <laughs> just like that, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> He's being a retard to get perma ban that fast takes skill. <laughs> dude. Bro, like what dude? Chapter six. Yo, so should I take my vitamin after this game? Yeah, I should, dude. Wait, when does it end? I don't know. I wanna be fully I wanna be coming on the way up when it ends, dude. Vitamin now? Should I take the vitamin now? What are we at? About an hour and a half in. I want the, th the whole point is to milk as much uptime before I take it so I can like get the most out of it. I haven't taken it in two days. I'm pretty fearful this one's gonna jack the shit out of me. I haven't taken it in two days. Man is gonna be sweating. Now? Dude, you guys want me to take it now? Take it now. Wait till after the game. What's up, Brando? Wait till after this game. Yeah, let's take it after this yeah. game. Like, dude, I wish I could say I couldn't sit here and not take it, but dude, my content's insane. To sit here and say I'm gonna put out that content for 12 hours without it is a dense thing to say. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not a, that's not an accurate thing to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I'm pretty proud of my alcohol controlling right now. I also ate me. I ate a couple bites of that pasta salad, you know what I'm saying? Jamie ordered us that little Hawaiian pork. She's a sweet baby, and she loves eating three bites. Oh, 
Alcohol equals midstream. Dude, no, I'm not. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah, cute. Keep on. Keep on. What? You love me? I love you too, Russ. Do I still feel burnt out? No, not at all. I needed that. Feeling great. I'm feeling recharged, baby. I'm feel. Do I look burnt out? I'm feeling this with the NA Central servers. I'm feeling like a whole new world. Yeah, for sure, Leland. I'm sure your dad's never coming back in your life because it's way too hard for him. So I guess something like that. Yeah, couple dudes. You know what I'm saying? What up, Russ? How you doing, man? You're here for Tifu, dude. Turner's saying that on stream, dude. Dude, because you guys don't understand the connection me and Turner have. Oh, shit. Dude, this is the most OP ability ever, dude. So cancerous, man. You're so bad at the game, too, dude. Good job, retard. I'm gonna chase you on the edge of the world. I don't care if I die. Retard. That ability has to go. Ooh, this NA Central feeling good, babes. Ooh, Ooh. Avia, Avia. Oh, oh my God, he's backed up and shit. Avia, Avia, Avia. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. I forgot snipers are in the game. Dude, like, why do y'all want to dance? And then you think that I that I'm backing down from smoke? You tell me, GG's the better player. I forgot. I forgot you don't get descope when you play this game. I'm used to Halo. I forgot you can you can shoot someone when they're scoping and it doesn't descope you, so they can do that. My fault. That was the most brutal fucking wait, death. Of wait, wait, wait. But do you understand that I forgot? I should wait. If I would have had it, wait, wait, wait. I want you to understand. If I had a hammer, I would have landed on him. I forgot that. Because snipers have been out of the game, let me tell you why I forgot. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, on Jesus Christ, I'm not even freaking out of that. Let me tell you what happened right there. Because you can't get descoped when you're, you have the sniper in this game. I thought it was Halo, where you shoot someone and you get descoped. I forgot that when you shoot someone, you don't get descoped in this game. You played this game for five years. They keep taking out snipers. Like, my, my muscle memory forgot that if you shoot someone when they're scoped, they're not getting descoped. They can scope right Dude, through Dude, Leland, that. stop saying gay-ass shit to me, bro. What are we talking about right now? What did he say to you? Holy... I don't know. Leland just loves being an idiot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I, I'm dead. Yeah, he's never made a cent off of this, and I make more than his dad from playing the game. So, I mean, there's that. Yo, Kane Sports, thanks for four months, man. I appreciate you, man. There's the whole aspect where, like, he wasted his whole time playing the game and didn't achieve shit from doing it, which we'll never let go because there's no other way to look at it. So, yeah, nice hobby. Really nice hobby, dude. Yeah, cool gaming hobby. I could never imagine playing this game for five years for free. I could never do it. To do that is psychotic to me. Luckily, I have a personality, so I'll never worry about it. He's probably 13. Hey, you know what? Look up that guy's epic name. I'd be willing to bet money he's not 13. 
What you want to bet? Can you? Does it, does it tell you their age and their epic? Sit here and say what? Be humble? No, 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 no. Let's be very clear. This is my job, and I live his dream, and nobody will ever know or give a fuck about him from playing this game. And let's be on the very same page. Could never do what I do. Nice headshot snipe. Nice, you retard. Now you can get a job and do something that'll matter in life. Like you playing the game. I want you to understand, and whoever this is attacking, feel attacked. You aren't doing shit by playing this game. So if that's offending you, then it's your time to get off the fucking game. Because if you're waking up every day and your intent is to do something while playing Fortnite and you're failing terribly, it's time for you to become undelusional and get a fucking job or find something else to do. I don't know what else to tell you. You aren't doing shit by playing Fortnite. You're not Booga. You don't have the Action Man personality. You didn't get there first like Ninja. It's not happening, so you have to fucking quit because anything besides quitting makes you a fucking retard. That's about that. To say that you're not wasting your time while trying this hard. Like, you know what's so weird is when I think about it is how, like, my mom wouldn't let me grind games for six months when I was a teenager in my early 20s. The irony in how weird it all is, my mom and my dad would have kicked me up. They never would have let me do it. To see a bunch of grown men living with their parents or just struggling to make ends meet when they play the game my amount of hours, what are you fucking doing, you fucking brain dead retard? Are you stupid? Like, if I went one day, if I, can I tell you something? If I went one hour when I was a homeless heroin addict panhandling and I made no money, I would change my spot that I'm panhandling from. To sit here for literal calendar years, years, literally years, years, and make no dollars while playing the game hundreds of hours a month, it just can't make any sense. It can't, wait, but I'm saying, is that not an unfair analogy though? Because I've been a homeless hero. I've been literally homeless for a decade. I get it, I've been homeless. I'm saying, to think that you're gonna do something for hundreds of hours and make no money doing it, there's no way my brain wouldn't redirect my course of action. Does that make any sense? Like, when I was streaming to 60 viewers on Halo, my brain said, you are fucking retarded, do something about this. And that's 60 viewers, 2,000 subs. We're talking about guys that are so far away from making it, it's like, picture you're born with cancer at two years old, and you're dying on your deathbed, and you're dying, and you have to fight cancer. Instead of fighting cancer, you try to get on Fortnite and make it a career. Oh my God. What I'm saying, that's literally the only analogy I can compare it to. You're focusing <laughs> on the wrong thing. You're saying it's extreme, but it's not. It's not, though, and let me explain to you why it's not. How many of you, right now, if you had a life obstacle, you'd stop playing Fortnite and you would go ahead and overcome that life obstacle? Who in here would say, okay, well, I can't say no to that. That's a pretty fair take, yes or no? Who in here would say there's a life obstacle stopping me from being what I should be or what I could be, and I want to go ahead and take that? What would you do? I make no sense. No, 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 no. You make no sense. Because disagreeing with that means that you're consigning and you're co-signing with throwing away your life on fucking Fortnite. And I'm not going to have that ideology be input. So I'm saying if you've played the game for hundreds of thousands of hours and nothing has happened from it, it's time for you to quit because you're trying to beat cancer blindfolded with no medical experience. I can't figure out another softer, easier way to compare it to. What are you doing? What are you doing? Think about it though. I want you to honestly think about this though. I'm God Almighty. Think about a task. Think about something in your life that you wanted to pursue and you wanted to do. After years and years and years of it not working out. And instead of changing the result, changing what you're doing to say, maybe this isn't working, you sit there and you. For years, video games are fun. They're for recreational purposes. It's not for you to think you're going to make a career out of it, man. You aren't good enough. You aren't funny enough. You might be a little funny or a little good, but you aren't Booga and you're not action man funny, so you have to fucking quit because there's no in between. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but baby, let it sink in. Dig deep because that is the only truth. Okay? 
please quit. I fucking beg you. I hope I'm getting enough. I hope I'm hurting enough people's feelings to hurting their feelings. Well, you should be paying me. I'm changing your fucking life. You're a fucking loser. I'm changing your fucking life. I'm trying to steer you. If this somehow applies to you, and God fucking help you if it does, and just God help you if it somehow does. If, it's so, if, if this applies to you, then I don't even know. I, I could never imagine that. But let's just say it somehow did. Then use this as advice for your shit retard life, you brain dead cock sucker. You aren't ever amounting to shit in no build competitive Fortnite, you brain dead fuck. Do the matrix. There's not even a community. What are you doing? It's a bunch of building rejects who couldn't make it over there. You're not even attacking the right basis. You aren't even making a small, you aren't even making the smallest dent. You aren't even doing the smallest thing. Not everyone wants to stream. Great take, one chord, Luddy. Then why do they? And why do they do it for 100 plus hours a week? Great take. But every time I look up one of their names, why do they have a bunch of TTVs and 80 plus hours a week playing the game? <laughs> that take would only work if you were right. Yes, I'm your inspiration. You're dog shit. You aren't funny. You're not making it in Fortnite. Dude, wake. Fuck up, you fucking retard. You'll never dead moron you know how stupid you are thinking you're gonna make it in fortnite you're brain dead brain dead you're not anywhere near as funny as me you're not anywhere near as good as booga the metric chance of you making it is you have a better chance of winning the powerball or beating stage four testicular cancer i can't put this in another perspective i wish i hope to my heart of hearts that as many people hear this and quit bunch of Fucking retards sweating in no builds. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is, what are you doing? If you're sweating in no builds, actually answer my question. What are you doing? Actually answer my question though. Because if you're sweating in no builds, you need to tell me what are you doing? Because if you're trying a no build game mode, you need to tell me what the fuck you're doing. What are you doing? If you're playing Fortnite no builds five plus hours a day, you owe me an explanation. What are you doing? You owe me that. What are you doing? They're not losing. They are losing. You make no money. How are you not? You're investing time and effort to nothing. That's, that's like saying, hey, Aaron, you're a heroin addict. I want you to increase your ability to be able to panhandle at the corner of 290 and Western Avenue at 2.26 p.m. That would be the equivalence. Something so mind-numbingly stupid, you could never understand how it made sense in the first fucking place. Holy fuck. Bunch of retards, man. I, I just, oh, God. They're just, I'm in a no-build playlist. And I, oh, I mean, okay, okay. Okay, man. Just a bunch of sad retards, My man. My tummy is bumbling. Sad ass retards. To, I'm saying I want to demoralize them. Fuck being humble. You can never do what I do, ever. You'll never come close. You will fail on Twitch and in Fortnite, and you will fail everywhere else the rest of your life. And I guarantee you won't do it. You can't do it. You won't do it. I'm going to sit here every fucking day to make sure of it because I'd rather see you fail than me win. Yeah, this started because I got sniped. Because why are you even... The thought of you putting in human effort into a no-build game... I think you're a fucking retard. I think you're a retard. I think you're brain dead. I think you're a retard. I think that you deserve a link card. I think you're so fucking brain dead. I think I could never imagine this. I could never imagine... I could never imagine years of my life trying to make it on Fortnite, on YouTube or Twitch, and just downright failing. 
and then just sitting in here hour after hour playing no build Fortnite and there's no fucking skilled rank playlist there's no rank playlist you're not getting anything from it you're posting the shit org that has 200 followers in your goddamn bio you're posting you made a thousand dollars and it makes me fucking sick and it makes me fucking sick you failed this bad because it makes me fucking sick because I think you're a piece of shit I think you're a piece of dirt and you shouldn't have been allowed to do it because now you don't have a job you got no education you have no support system and now I'm paying 39% taxes because you don't want to quit Fortnite and get a job be humble fuck you you sit here and do this shit every day Three hundred. God, that now. shit pissed me off. Nice effort Trend level in your unranked game of Fortnite. Hearts, you never will be shit, retard. Do I think I'm better than you because I popped off on Twitch and you didn't come close? Absolutely. Do I think that means you aren't the same? Correct. If you were dying in a hospital and I had an extra organ to give to you, I wouldn't give it to you for a billion dollars. I wouldn't give it to save my own mother's life. My mother would have to die before she'd put your organ in her body. And that's how much I fucking hate you. And I want you to understand that's where I'm at. And I want you to take that to the grave. Yeah, fucking retard. God forbid, God forbid we have one fun game. God forbid, man, I'm so tired of this bitch ass game. I literally forgot I have to take a vitamin to play the game. So a bunch of losers don't Whoa. kill me in it. Chrome so tired Chrome of this shit ass Chrome game. Beans. I wonder why I take breaks and take vitamins. Because they're all trying like they're going to amount to shit. Babes, you would montage, never, montage, your dad would speed. never let you sit at home and play Fortnite hours a day. Because your dad's not I'm stupid. Dead. Your dad would kick, kick out. you would get kicked yeah, out of your I'm fucking house. You'd be, you'd be kicked out of your house. And I would have been too. And my parents were lenient. And my parents were fucking lenient. So, I'm trying to picture what kind of parents are letting these fucking retards waste their fucking life away on a game that's giving them nothing! What? Any other game? Do you know in 2010, if you said, hey, in 2017, a game called Fortnite's gonna be released, and people are gonna call it grinding when they waste their fucking youth on a game and gain nothing from it. They're gonna call it grinding. Obviously, my parents were lenient. Yeah, for sure, Mayor. Yeah, they were lenient. Yeah. Obviously, you were a female on Twitch. You got to 400 followers, so you couldn't be that good looking considering I blew you away on Twitch. Hey, for sure. What's your excuse for not even coming close to me? Nice job at having a free career and not coming close. Obviously, your parents didn't raise you with any common sense. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, laugh it off knowing it's exactly true. Yeah, yeah, you free career. You blew that. <laughs> I couldn't sit in a chair. <laughs> laugh that one off. You don't stream? Well, not anymore. You tried to. You're right. That's what I would say if I were you. So you just got the 389 followers on accident? Yeah, you're right. I'm not even going to ban you. Just cook. You're right. You don't stream anymore because you failed, idiot. Bring me back to my original point. You just have a personality. You don't have looks or personality. That's how you failed on Twitch. Then why'd you fail? Okay, so that would be a great take, and I would really be into the argument, but you failed on Twitch brutally compared to me. So explain how that happened. Explain to me how I surpassed you by a metric that I can't even compare. It'd be like me comparing myself to XQC. You came nowhere close. What's wrong with you? Hey, obviously your parents raised you to do what? Athena, what's your plans in life? Huh? You gonna bag my groceries at Jewel or something? You gonna help me put my glasses on my head? Are you gonna be a, 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 a nurse's assistant? Are you going to work as a secretary? You won't be a streamer. <laughs> you won't be a streamer though. And I can live with that because no matter what you say, I know you tried and you failed. But you don't stream, for sure. For sure. Is there anything you'd like to say to that? 
Anything you'd like to say? Just curious here. Hey, oh, for sure. Taking a shot at how my parents raised me. Hey, you know what, Athena? Can I tell you something? My parents raised me to be more successful than you. So what are your thoughts about that one, Athena? You raise beautiful babies? Yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm sure I'd blame, I, I would blame having kids for the reason why I failed on Twitch. You raise beautiful babies, so here's what I'm gonna do. I, you know what I would do? That's the lamest excuse I've ever heard. My mom raised me to be successful, so she didn't have any excuse. So what was your excuse? I raised kids. You have never ever streamed, you love my assumptions? Okay, so then how did you make it to 389 followers on Twitch then? Just curious. So you've never ever streamed, but you got the 389 followers. Would you mind explaining that? Explain to me how that happens then. Because I'm dying to hear it. No, no, you got the attention you wanted to. You could be raising your obese children right now, but you're in here instead. That's great. Hey, yo, tell your kids you're arguing with a balding ex heroin on Twitch and whether or not you streamed and failed or not. Seriously, they're going to be so proud of your parenting tactics right now. Where's mommy at? You mod? So because you mod, that means you've never streamed. You mod. That's worse. So instead of getting something out of streaming, you just sit there and watch other people stream? So I'm saying, so because you're saying that you're a mod and that's the reason why this makes any sense. So what do you do for work? You just raise your kids, nothing else? I'm just curious because you're talking like you're, you're out here doing a whole lot and I'm wasting my time. And like my parents raise a loser. Well, I promised you, both my sisters have jobs and one of them has kids and they never made an excuse. So what's yours? Hmm? I'm just trying, I'm just trying to understand that. So then what would your excuse be then? Fairy unicorn, believe. Believe in what? For what? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're trying to act like my parents did worse. My parents raised someone who's more successful than your parents. Your parents raised a loser. I would never be in a position to where the most accomplished thing I've ever done was raise my kids, regardless of my gender. That won't ever happen. No shit, you're raising your kids. That's what a mother's supposed to do. Why would you ever want an extra thank you for raising your kids? Hey! Hey guys, I raised my kids. No shit. That's what you're supposed to do. What else did you do? But, but I had to drop the zero. You're right, dude. Yeah, for sure. Except that uh, my heights are higher than theirs because I have a personality. So what's your rebuttal? Yeah, great input. You see how I'm right here not backing down? Not afraid of what a bunch of losers with shit lives are thinking? <laughs> you think I think Athena isn't struggling paycheck to paycheck? To scrap by? Do you think that I think she's doing remotely good? No, if she was, she never would have typed that. Look at look how long the rebuttals are taken now. Do you think I believe that? Imagine thinking you're a good parent and then typing that. I'm a loser. I say vile things, kick my followers. It's not going to hurt you, honey. All right, cool. Go watch your kids. You're right. Great. You know what will hurt your kids? You losing an online argument in an action man Twitch chat. That will hurt your kids. Now go raise them. Bye. Remove from the broadcast. Goodbye. Take care, Athena. Hey, mom. Thanks. It was great seeing you in here. You did great. Go raise your kids, sweetheart. Dad. All right. Oh, Looking like they could use some parenting right now. Make anything off Discord. Hey, you know what though? Me. Hurry up and raise your kids before they end up a failed Twitch mod and a failed streamer with no personality. Hurry up. Hurry up. Tend to their tend to your children before they become you. Hurry. Hurry. Sprint. <laughs> Man, stream the sky was going crazy. Please suck the milk out of this tit. I'm begging you. Holy fuck! And there it goes the Fortnite delusion. Imagine modding a bunch of dead Fortnite streaming retards and that triggering you. Ooh, congrats! A bunch of the guys you're modding are brain dead and retarded. Great, sweet, awesome. I hope you don't mod. I hope you don't parent anywhere how you mod. Otherwise, they're gonna be Simon Birch. I really, really hope that. I really hope they took every single piece of their father's genetics to give them a normal shot at life. Otherwise, it's not looking good. Holy fuck. Okay, moving on. Sorry about that. I'm not sorry about that. You're welcome for hearing that. Jesus Damn. Christ. What up? You ever check your DMs? No, what? On Twitter? 
No, what? Right, what's up? Uh, you should have gotten a Keemstar DM. Yeah, I did get a Keemstar DM. I'm not. Like a couple hours ago. I'm not fighting that dude. You want to talk it? about that? He's popping on TikTok, or he was. Dude, okay, let me tell you what's going on here. Is it Anthony Vargas? Oh, I think I know who that is. Yeah, he's big. Like, he's name. big on YouTube and TikTok. A, I can't fight because of my finger. Hear me out. I can't fight because of my finger, but hear me out. Dude, they want this to be like a league, dude. He's 5'7", but dude, you aren't getting this. I'm not training to fight a bum. I'm not fighting Seven. Keemstar. I'm, he has 7.1 mil. Yeah, look at his views. 700k video. Oh, uh, what? TikTok? Yeah. I didn't check his TikTok. Give or take, man. To me, I didn't want to do it. I want a guy that just is mad, bigger than that. To me, if I'm going to train and box a guy like that. To me. I don't know. I mean, he don't ring on Twitch. He don't ring on his Twitter dead. His answer pulls some decent numbers. But I need to benefit from it. If I don't benefit from it, I, I feel like me boxing air cool or heel mic, I'd be way more beneficial just doing that. You don't understand. They want me to go to London and train and do all this extra shit. That's not what influencer boxing is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a couple of guys who aren't that skilled at boxing getting in there and fucking memeing each other. They want me to train, improve my weight class. Dude, I'm not doing any of that, man. That's not what I want to do. That's a waste of time. That's way too extra. Like, dude, I would be down for the memes. Get me heel mic in a ring. Get me AC in a ring. I'm down to do that for fun. I'm down to do me and Mike. I'm saying I might lose the air cooler, Mike, but I'm down to do that because that, to me, is what you would want to watch. I don't want to box a guy that either was washed up, is washed up, or doesn't or won't benefit me. I just feel like if I box that guy, it won't benefit me. I feel like Athena, let me put it this way. Athena would benefit raising her kids more than watching the stream <laughs> than I would benefit from fighting that guy. Does that make any sense? That's the best way that I could put it in perspective You're right so there. Stupid. <laughs> Calls me honey. Yeah, congrats, dude. Yeah, bragging about being a mother, shit talking on Twitch, dude. Yeah, my parents raised me great. Your parents raised a Twitch mod, and that's your greatest accomplishment. Hey, uh, I need to raise my kids, but the problem is that's all I can do or be a Twitch mod. So I guess those are my options. <laughs> what a loser. Any female that puts an animated picture of her face instead of a real one is afraid to show her real face. And we all know the reason behind that. Think about the psyche of someone that's willing to do that. Stay hidden, honey. Sweetheart, you ain't ready for this level of internet, all right? <laughs> cool. Stay anonymous. Seriously, you really hid your 15 pounds with that profile picture. We were all fooled. Goofy. All right, go to the next one. All right, doing on bands. I'm just saying, I had to make sure we know what's going on in here, man. I'm not going for that shit. Straight up, I'm not going for that shit. If you have, to me, if you have kids, and this is my honest to God fact, factor, if you have kids, I just feel like, ah, like, that's just like when we bring in the argument to pass judgment on someone when you have kids. My first response is, well, you should never be doing that because any, any effort you spend belittling someone while you have a kid, that could be energy spent towards your kid. So I'm saying if you decide to engage in cyber online shit talk, you can't really win because you should be talking to your kids. That's what I'm, I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with being a parent Dude, a lot of people have kids that are on Twitch. There's nothing wrong with that. But you probably aren't shit-talking. To expel any negative energy or any extra energy at all when you have kids, that's not allowed. You made the choice to spread your legs and have some asshole without a job blow his useless sperm in your legs. And I know he's a useless asshole. Because you made that call, now you don't get the same privileges as everybody else. That's the reality. You don't get the same. And when I have a kid, the same will apply to me. The exact same will apply to me. When I have a kid, I'm not going to be sitting on Twitter. Ooh, shit talking some retard with no earnings. It's not happening. I have a kid now. I have a kid. I can't do that anymore. You see what I'm saying? The kids are probably sleeping. Really? At 740 at night? And even if they are sleeping, guess what you should be doing? Looking up ways to make their life better when they're asleep. I could think of 
anything in the world attempting to say that your parents raised me better than yours. Okay, maybe, maybe not. But this argument's only going to make sure that I win. Either way, you will win the argument. So what do you want me to say? Either way, you're going to look stupid by the end of the argument because I'm on the clock and you have kids that are wasting away. Okay? So you could take a shot at me and you could say that I'm saying nasty things. I'm saying you're delusional for saying that my parents did a shittier job than yours when there's no evidence of that being true. If you're going to shit talk me, what do you want me to say? I make way more money than that, than her. So why would I think that my parents didn't raise me better than her? I'm far more successful than her. Way more successful. So would I want a bunch of bastard kids with a shit father who you can't even reach on Instagram? Or would I want someone who has their full brain intact and is willing to go beast mode at any single second to be the number one person they could be? What do you think I'm willing to do? Like, what, what are we talking about in here, man? Like, it's not even, it's not even a hot take. Like, what? All right. It's over? It's over when I say it's over. Like, I'm saying, like, why do you think we are, we are, we are, we are on a what? I'm not breaking TOS. I'm not saying anything crazy. Like, some of you guys think this is, like, a crazy... And can I tell you how I know this generation is in pain? Some of them think this shit is a hot take. You think it's a hot take to say that if you have kids, you shouldn't be fucking around on Twitch? You think it's a hot take? Well, I said, well, you're saying my parents did a bad job. I'm saying fuck you and your parents. They did a bad job. You had kids with a guy you shouldn't have had kids with. I think your parents did a bad job. Why is that? Why would I? I'm, I'm saying, like, what are you saying here? What do you mean? How come this generation so set on dishing but not receiving? Okay, well, because your uterus decided to do the three nine o'clock split, now you've engaged in this kind of dialogue, and you probably didn't want to deal with this dialogue. Yo, you can take your vitamin now, by the way, though. All right, let me yeah, take my yeah. vitamin. Yeah, let me take it. Yeah, last game. Oh, uh, damn. It's done she at She lives eight. in my head so, rent free? Yeah, no, she lives in the other guy's pocket rent free. Yeah. Yeah, my parents suck. Uh, yeah, my parents uh, didn't train me to have a kid underage who so I have to act like I want around, but I don't. Those are the worst kind of people. Dude, let me tell you, the worst kind of people are the ones that have kids early and they act like they're not miserable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know you are. Having a kid sucks. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Period. <clears throat> like, what? Like, that ass, when I have a kid, like, there's going to be certain things. Obviously, I'm going to still be a streamer. But I know when I'm a kid, there's certain things I can't do. Ever. Imagine having a kid. I can't believe this though. It is weird to me, babes. It is, dude. Having a kid and instead of spending every waking moment to better your own seed, you're in an action man chat passing judgment about how I shit talk a bunch of retards who waste their life playing this game. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense, man. I just don't understand it, dude. Oh, God. It's fucking sad, man. It's sad. Like, you, like, whatever you have, like, chat, think about it. Whatever you hear a kid screaming in the background in one of my Phil games, what are you thinking? That's her. That's literally her, but she's not on the game right now. You're thinking, why are you playing the game? You lost your right to play games. You're a fucking mother and a father now. You lost your right. You're right. You're not a full-time streamer. You're not Booga. You lost your right. Correct. Things are different now. Yes. Absolutely. That's not a hot take. That's fucking common sense. That's common sense for anyone who was born pre the year 2000. Ha. <sighs> Like, no, you can't waste hours and hours and hours and hours in your life being 
the toxic asshole you thought you were. I'm not saying you can't at all, unless your affairs are totally in order. I'm saying, the, let me let me let me re-explain it, snipers, because there's some mothers in here that aren't like her. If your affairs are totally in order and you somehow got free time, it's the passing of judgment lets me know you aren't a good mother. Because I know you're sitting there with that kid who probably is two or three years behind all the other kids. Because anyone that has to bring up their kid in a Twitch chat knows the kid isn't normal like everyone else and feels the need to fill the void with compliments because nobody would ever say that. My kid's normal. We didn't say the kid wasn't normal. You implied your kid wasn't normal by saying that. I'm never going to be like, hey, yeah, my kid's great. No shit, my kid's great. I'm not going to raise no retard. I know she was, I know she's got follower mode only. She was streaming. Some, dude, obviously she's embarrassed. She failed. Embarrassed that her kids just, I don't know how you want to call it. Retarded. And the reason why is because it's, it's, it's easier to look at action. Let me tell you the psyche behind this here because nobody wants to say this. It's easier to look at Action Man and judge him than it is to look at your kid who's three years behind everybody else and fix that person. It's easier to pass judgment on an Action Man stream than it is to look in the mirror and, and check the box list if I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing before I go to Action Man and judge him. Way easier. No more please. Why not? Then leave. Oh, you're offended? I'll talk about this all night. Bye. Sorry your kid's a retard. You're in the wrong stream. Bye, Hypnotics. Bye. Bye. Take care, dude. Later. Remove from the broadcast. Click out of the stream. I'm not shutting up for any retard. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Blow dicks. Go be bored somewhere else. Hate you. Hate your face. Later. All I can do is keep it real. Do you see how these assholes want to see me water down? Do you guys? They don't want you to. They want you to. Dude. I'm not trying to get Andrew Tate in Matrix on you, but he is right in a sense. Dude, they want you to do things a certain way. I want you to understand. They want you to do things a certain way. Leland, two-week ban or 20 ashtrays to come out. I'm just done with you. Ban him out of Discord, too. He can message someone to unban with, with an ashtray. I'm done with him. You can do things a certain way. But when you do things a different way, five ashtrays. I'm done with Leland. Ban him out of Discord, too, Mackie. No, 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 no. He don't get it. I don't know why he's typing that after being unbanned, thinking it's okay. It's not okay. Ban him from Discord. Have him show you proof of at least three ashtrays or he's not coming back. Don't know why he thinks I need him in here. Bye. I didn't, Sniperus. You know that. I'm just saying, dude. Whoever has to hear it has to hear it. I'm not... I'm not Leland has not learned his lesson. No, Leland, what's up, Mama Ash? I'm saying, dude, I'm not going to let anybody who I know is doing worse than me financially or doing worse than me in any other aspect in life pass any judgment on me when I know I'm doing better than them. And that's how I am. That's where I come from. You won't get to do it over my fucking dead body. Okay. That just won't happen. It won't fucking happen. Fuck you. I worked too hard for this. Fuck you. Grind harder if it bothers your fucking feelings. Fuck that. I'll never water my stuff down. Ever. Won't be very long. Hey, for sure, man. Hey, look forward to you passing me up in the Fortnite directory since you play 12 hours a day, retard boy. Good God. The fuck? Yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, way to break TOS. Yeah, ban that retard. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Tate all day. Free the Tates. The world's better with Andrew Tate being free. Don't care. Don't care. Free the Tates. World's better with Tate being free. Don't care what you say. World's better. People need to hear the truth. Stop being soft. Stop being a pussy. Stop being a bitch. That's all I got to say. Free top G till the world blow up. That's about it. I'm done with that shit. Be soft. Have a shit life. Have your ears be sheltered and let life steamroll you. Let life steamroll you and you don't want to fight back and you want to feel bad for yourself and you want to do the die. Get away from me. Get away from me. 
say? What does he always say? He says, well, well Andrew Tate or anyone else, well, what's it like with the people that didn't have your opportunity or who couldn't do what you do? I could never imagine that. I could never imagine that. I could never fathom that. I could never imagine a world where I'm a loser and staying stuck a loser and not doing anything about it. I got you, M Crew 222. I like let then then stay a loser. Then sit there, keep being a fucking loser and wondering why nothing good's happened to you. Then sit there, don't challenge yourself, don't motivate yourself, keep looking for the easy way out, keep looking for the easy answer, let me know how it goes. I tried it, but I'm sure you got a better way. I'm sure. Keep trying it. Keep taking the easy way out. Keep on taking the easy way out. The truth of the matter is, the people that type those kind of comments ain't never been punched before. Those people that type that ain't never grinded. They don't grind me. Whatever your craft is, stream 100 hours a week now. I'll grind me. I'll grind me. I'll grind me. You won't do it. You can't do it. You won't do it. I'll grind me. Out grind me then. Put in the hours. Out grind me. You can't do it. You won't do it. You can't do it. So fucking complain. God. So complain, man. You've been deployed in the Middle East, bozo. Who talking to you, man? All right, great. No one thinks, then thanks for serving, man. Then what other underlying issue is you dealing with? All right, great. Thanks for serving. What does that mean? Okay, you're in the Middle East. That means you can't be a piece of shit. And that's another thing. Just because you get deployed doesn't mean you're doing these great things. A lot of them sit in air-conditioned barracks all day. So you saying you're in the Middle East, that's not doing shit. I'm not pressed. You're making your value sound like it's a lot. It's not. We're fine without you. We don't need some 35-pound overweight dude to sit in some air-conditioning room staring at a PC screen. That's all you do. I guarantee you that guy that said he's joining the military, I, if that guy will not join my Discord, I will poke holes in his story and I will give you the content you want. I guarantee you he won't join. Get in my Discord right now. I promise. Let's do it right now. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Get in here right now. No, hell no. Hell no. Get in here right now. Waiting room right now. Let's go. It's not spazzing, it's standing up for what you believe in. A lot of you grew up with no backbones like your shitty retard parents. Watch the stream and learn what it's like to be a man. Since you were never taught what it's like to be a man, let me teach you how this shit done real quick. Where my Discord? Come post it. Let's go explanation Discord right here. Sit here and get soft and get offended in a bitch ass Fortnite stream. Bitch ass dude, we ain't worried about shit. Discord right there. Discord right there, link right there all day, every day right there. What's up, dab dot bum? What's the problem here? What's the problem here? What are we waiting on? No, AJ, I'm not talking shit to y'all. What do you mean, though? Not streaming for two days. What, what about the every other day ever? And I literally did stream. So what are you saying? Oh, me taking, me having two short streams means like what? Can't speak the truth? Come on, man. He wants no smoke. He sees the Discord link. What is your Discord name, man? Get your stolen heart lying ass up in here, man. Right now, man. What up, Revive? How you doing, man? What's the problem? Some dude lying about what he does. There's some truths, but more lies. Let's go. What up, Turpaholics? Let's go. Let's get him in here. I know, AJ. I know. What's the rambling about? Just soft ass dudes being soft. You're downloading the update. All right, all right, we'll wait for you. No way he's joining? No, he'll, he'll probably join. I, res I, I always respect the guy that at least joins. If you join, you at least got my respect. Let's give him a chance. EM crew, thank you. I'm not, dude, we're not, we don't do Discord battles to sit here and just fucking outright scream he feels a kind of way i feel a kind of way all right let's solve it because i can't have this shit going on all right go to the waiting room go to the waiting room no he gonna talk he gonna talk all right there he is there he is yo what up dude 
No, he gonna talk. He gonna talk. Oh, yeah. there he is. There he is. Hey. All right, yo, yo, meet, yo, meet the stream. Meet the stream. I'm, I'm, I'm echoing. I'm echoing. All right, so okay. you're at, so you're at, where are you deployed to right now? I'm 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 not deployed right now. I said I I was deployed. All right, get your bitch ass out of my Discord. Ban that guy. Ban that guy right now. We're done, dude. For sure. That's not at all what you said. You literally said you were in. You literally said you were deployed right now. Bye. Remove from the broadcast. What are you doing? Wait, wait. Ban that guy. Wait, wait. He literally typed he was deployed. He typed he was deployed. Whoa. Wait, dude. Now imagine that. He joined for that. Why wouldn't you at least lie? Wait, what a joke. Wait, wait, why would you not at least, didn't let him get a word in, daring us to come in. Hey, Trey DDS, he said he was deployed, stupid. So, Trey DDS, if you're saying I'm wrong for banning that, and he says he's, we're, we're, I'm letting him join off the basis that he's deployed right now, then why would I let him stay in here after he just admitted that? Dummy, ban that BSS guy, ban DDS right now. He was probably discharged. Great, he can get used to a bunch of dudes discharge all over his face. Ban that guy and ban that retard from the Discord. Holy fuck. Great, guys, great. He was deployed. In case you guys don't know what that means, you could literally be put in the softest, most little... Like, dude, I'm going to keep it a buck. Not everyone that joins the military deserves the same congratulations, and no one's ever said this on stream. Do I think a guy who stormed the beach in 1944, June 6 on D-Day, do I think that guy is comparable to that guy? Absolutely not. Like, to me to say, like... If you were, what's up, Abolish? If you were, if you serve, you should know what you serve. That's discrediting the real heroes. I'm not saying you didn't serve, but you're not. You're not the same guys that st that were in Vietnam, World War One, World War Two, saw action, had to risk their life. That's not. You're not the same as that. Don't think because you sat on a computer you're like them. You're not. You are absolutely not. You are not the same as those men who truly fought for our freedom. Yes, you enrolled. Yes, you passed some meatball-ass tests. But you sat in an air-conditioned room on a computer. And that's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. And I would never say it. If I was in the military and I did some desk jockey-ass job, I would never fucking say that I serve how them brothers did. How them warriors serve. I see people on fucking naval boats partying. God damn it, don't you dare say that. You know what I'm talking about. You didn't serve. If you didn't see any combat or assist with combat, you didn't actually serve. That's my thoughts about that. You sitting in a boat and doing some Mickey Mouse ass operation when no one's life is on the line and no one's in jeopardy. You didn't do shit. You did a job anybody could have done. You did a job anybody could have done. Now, if you were commanding ships, commanding boats in combat, if you didn't work with anybody in combat, then I disagree. I lost my sub. You're fucking up. Great. Bye. Fuck you. You should have done it. You should have worked a real job in the military. Bye, Craig. Great. Let's see if my stream recovers from you. Yep, it did. All I'm trying to say, I'm not saying you did it do anything i'm saying don't you fucking dare put yourself on the same level that guys lost their life and that dude is craig you're a bitch so guys in case you guys are listening craig wants me to say that the guys who fought in d-day and the guys who fought in true combat situations are the same as guys who never saw combat why would that be true why would that, why, I wouldn't think that was true if it was for me. But hear me out though, hear me out though. Listen to my honest to God, listen to my honest to God question though. If I saw zero combat at all and didn't have anything to do with combat at all, why would you brag about serving? You didn't do shit, you were a babysitter. There's no way I'm letting you sit in here, and I'm not just saying combat, 
Anything associated, anything associated with combat, that means you are directing ships, airplanes, anything involving that counts. But to not see any combat, to go in 2016, 17, when, the, when there wasn't shit popping, and you sat in a bunker, and you didn't see a single bit of risk, to, for me to say, you took the risk that our brothers did when they died or came near death, that's not the same thing, and I'm not going to let that happen. It's not the same thing. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's not the same thing. It's like, thank you for serving, but we didn't really need you to serve. Like, the world was going to be fine without you. You didn't do anything that was worth it. Yeah, doctors, nurses, this guy's an asshole. This guy's, do you know what a lot of these guys do, chat? And can I tell you what, what Craig did? And let me tell you what Craig did and a lot of guys like Craig. They go to the military for the bare minimum period of time, zero combat, and they quit just so they can get all the benefits and say they did something, but they never did. And you know that's true. And you know that's true. And you know that's true. Get him back in here right now. Get that piece of shit in Discord right now to prove my point. I didn't serve any time. But I, let me tell you something. I didn't serve any time. But if I did and I never saw any combat, I swear to God the last thing I would ever do is act like I served. No, I, I was in the military. I'd be like, yeah, I was in the military. I'm not going to act like I served when I had to stare at some stream that just didn't matter at all. Some screen of, of dropping off cargo somewhere or some bitch ass shit. That's not serving in the military. That's not being a Marine. That's not being in the Navy or the Coast Guard. That's not doing something constructive for the military when we needed them. That's not the same thing. Yeah, unban him from chat. Unban him from Discord. Get in my Discord right now. I'm not done with this shit. Round two. Someone said I brag about the streets but saw no combat. <laughs> I did. All right, let him back in. Let him back in right now. I have to know. Get him back in right now. No, no, no. Let him back in. Let him back in right now. I have to know. I can't, I can't just think I was right and then be wrong. That's not okay either. That's not okay because if this guy did see combat, then I shit all over him and that's not okay either. Get him back in here. I just, I don't understand why he said that. The whole point was that you were serving right now. You typed in the chat that you were serving right now. That wasn't the case. All right, welcome back. Now, before we start here, you said you were in combat when we started. You said you were deployed right now. You typed that. No, I said I, I was deployed, in which was that's saying, not. I so mean, if I pull up your log right now, is that what it says? Are you willing to bet on that? Yeah, it may say like I have been deployed or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Keep going on. So what did you what did you what did you do when you were deployed? Um, I worked on F-15s. What is that? I was an uh, F-15, uh, like a jet. What does that do? What does that imply? An F-15 is a jet. I worked as an avionics. So what does that do? Explain to me the job uh, description. Um, I uh, fix uh, everything electronic on an F-15. Uh, I just banned that guy. There you go. Anybody could do that. Ban that guy. There you go. Hey, guys, he can fix planes. Now he's in the military. That's all I wanted to hear. Bye. Ban him out of Discord. Now he can go. That was exactly my point. That's exactly my point. I'm so glad I got him back in here to do that. Now he can go. So now let's talk about now why am I banning him? Now why? Because you fixing a plane, well, you could fix a plane anywhere. So to say, but hear me out now. Now listen to me. Listen to this take here. But why say you were in the military though? If you were to fix a plane, you could fix a plane anywhere. If that was your field, you could fix a plane anywhere. Do you want me to say that you fixing a plane equals what? Your job was important? No, you had no risk. You didn't risk anything. Our hard fought soldiers were docking those fucking planes in so you could sit there and act like you belong. You don't belong, okay? You didn't risk your life. So I'm not gonna sit here and act like thank you for serving. I thank the guy that got in the fucking boat or I thank the guy that got in the plane. I'm not gonna thank the guy that fucking fixed it. Because anybody could have done that. And anybody could have done it without getting killed. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, that's a massive risk. It's not. You don't have to agree with my take. He's acting like he was out there stopping the Russians from invading us, fighting with his whole life. No, no, he was sitting in an air conditioning hub, fixing a plane, which anybody could have done. 
That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he didn't help our country. He did. But you did by default. You didn't go out of your way to defend our country. You did a job that anybody could have done. You're not better than me. You're not more. Let me tell you something. You're not braver than anybody in this chat. You hear me? That's what I want to say. You are not braver than a single person in this fucking chat room. That's all I got to say. You are not braver than one person in here. At all. You aren't braver than one single person in this motherfucker. That's all I got to say. You're scared of fighter jets? Make out Hill. He's not flying them. Guys, he's not flying them. All he's doing is fixing them. So why would I ever congratulate that guy as I congratulate a guy who just got done storming the beach, capturing Osama bin Laden, doing an actual high-risk mission? A lot of that, this is what I'm saying. They all want to be classified as military and military benefits, but all you did was fix some metal on a plane that you could have done anywhere else. I'm not saying it didn't count, but they get an ego from it. They act like they're doing more than me and you. They aren't. They're not, man. They aren't doing anything more than anybody else. God, of course, I knew it. I knew it was one of those guys that never sees combat, never risks his life, gets an easy fucking free college ride from his middle class parents. It's so typical, man. Fuck that. The fuck? Now, before I drop this, guys, do you believe that guy should be given the same credit as someone who either fought or died serving this country? Do you? Do you? I mean, answer the question here because you think that I'm in the wrong here. Do you believe that guy deserves the same credit? Honest to God question. Do you? Do you truly believe he deserves the same? So, so if you're saying yes, so he deserves the same credit as someone that died in one of our wars, why would that be true? Anyone that's saying absolutely, tell me how. So you're saying that a guy is dead. So the people that are saying yes, that's a, that's a weird take. So if you are talking to people's mothers and fathers who lost children to war, you're saying, so pretend you're not staring at me. You're staring at a mother and a father that lost their child to war. You're saying the guy that I'm talking to deserves to be treated the same way that that, 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 that guy does. How? Could you actually believe that? They served? Right, but that's my point. You're right, they served, but there's different levels of serving. Just because you served doesn't mean you get to walk around with your chest puffed out. Fuck you. Fix my dick. You fix the plane. Great. Pl tons of people do that. So should, we, should, should a guy that fixes a Boeing 757 be given a Purple Heart? Should a guy that fixes a Boeing 757? Because they're just at the same amount of risk. Hear me out. Shut the fuck up. Don't you dare shit talk a warrior like that. A warrior who died in the battle. You are making me fucking sick. So, Mingla, my logic is horrible. If my logic is horrible, then get in my Discord and tell me how. Because you're saying, I'll argue about this the rest of the night. For you to say my logic is horrible, so you're saying you believe someone that died in war should be treated the same as someone who never even remotely saw combat fixing a plane thousands of miles away from anything real. They get to be treated the same way? What, would, would you want that? So if you were sitting there shooting people, risking your fucking life, Nobody said that? No, no, Mingla, you just said that. Get your bitch ass in Discord. No, no, no. Mingla, stop contradicting yourself. Get in the Discord. You said my logic is shit, but this is my logic. You're saying it's shit, but now you don't want to agree with it because I just said that. Get in my Discord, Mingla. Am I okay, dear? Yeah, Mingla, are you too afraid to lose the point that you thought you were proving, Mingla? Great. You're right. Yeah, I'm okay. For sure. Are you okay, previous nine-month sub who I make more money than both your parents combined? And by me making more money than both your parents and me doing it from screaming at home from a mic, you feel that I don't deserve this opinion and that's where all this is stemming from, Mingla? Is that you? Yeah, that is you. Great. Yeah, yeah, I'm making up bullshit comparisons, talking to myself at this point. There's 1,500 people in here. I'm talking to myself at this point. I'm saying, you're a bitch. You have no job. Nothing you say will ever have more value than me. So join my Discord and prove it. I keep blabbing the same shit, G. And you do too, bitch. Because I have a point and you don't. So why aren't you on my Discord? Discord now. Discord now. Why isn't he joining Discord? You're laughing so hard right now. Thanks for the content. Okay. Well, I mean, you didn't have the guts. Hey, guys. Mingla didn't have the stones to join Discord. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, yo. 
Mingla didn't have the stones to join Discord. Hey, yo, Mingla, you a bitch. Everybody at Mingla and ask him why he's a bitch. Hey, yo, ask Mingla why he's a bitch. Hey, yo, Mingla, you a bitch for real, bro. Yeah, yeah, you want someone that's just gonna yell and not talk? Yeah, for sure, Mingla, whatever you gotta say, dude. Hey, yo, Mingla, you a bitch, dude. Your dad's a bitch. Your family has no work ethics. And just know your parents raised an absolute coward. And I'm calling you out man to man. And I'm saying your parents didn't raise a man to get in my Discord and have this conversation. That's what I'm saying, man. And if you honestly are okay with that, you're laughing so hard. I am too, dude. Now watch ads, man. What's up, dude? Nine-month hate watcher. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Mingla. What's up, dude? Nine-month hate watcher. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, yo, Mingla. No one cares about your take and your opinion. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, yo, Mingla. You'll never be shit no matter what you do, you loser-ass bitch. You're watching a bunch of ads. Hey, yo, Mingla. How many ads you just watched right there? Yeah? I'm laughing too because you're invested in a Twitch chat and I'm being paid thousands of dollars to do this and you're making no money doing this. But okay, whatever you got to say, man. Watch eight an insurmountable amount of ads. I just spammed 360 ads. Watch them. Shove those blue pieces of hair up your ass, you liberal fuck. Why would anybody... Do you guys know, guys like Mingla, they wish that they could have this. They wish anybody could listen to their point and have it be valid. They know my take is valid. I stand by my point. I will never back down from staying that someone who died in our military and who served in our military and could have died, they don't deserve to be compared to someone who never had a chance of dying. How is that a hot take? So let me ask you a question. If you just got done risking your literal fucking life for a war that didn't matter, literally, would the first thing that you would want to read is that we all served and we're all the same? I'm just curious, though. I'm just ask me a question here. And because he's saying my logic makes no sense. How does my logic make no sense? Imagine if you just almost died about nothing on nothing. And you get back home, and the first thing someone says is, thank you for serving, and you get handed the same thing as someone who sat in some air-conditioned room fixing a plane. You could have done that for Spirit Airlines, where people from the hood argue over $200 flights. You could have fixed that plane, and no one's going to say you're in valor or in ratio. Do you see what I'm saying? So they get this weird fucking ego. They do all contribute. You're right. And I'm not saying they don't. But you aren't contributing as much as someone is risking their life. And that's not an unfair assessment. I'm not saying you're not needed and you're not worthy. You are. But they get egos. You're not getting an ego from fixing a plane. We'll find somebody else that can fix the plane that doesn't have an ego. This is your job. You're not serving. You're in the military. You're not serving. I know Big titty pretty girls that sit around all day and they're in the Navy. They don't do shit all day. I see them on Instagram. They don't do anything. Do nothing. Are they serving? I mean, maybe they are. I don't fucking know, but they're not risking their life. They're not. They're fucking not. I've seen it, dude. So I know. I've seen. And men too. Not just women. I've seen men who are in the military going out to bars constantly. I've seen guys, let's not just limit it to the females, I've seen plenty of men going to bars, going off the campus, not, like, like, what, like, what? That's what that guy does. You want me to compare that to someone who fucking died in Vietnam? No! What's wrong with you? Huh? Jamie, tier one, three months advance, Jamie. He says, bro, you contribute shit and my ego is through the roof. Okay, so reckoning. I contribute shit. So, so reckoning. Here's the reality. I pay more in taxes than 99.9% .9 who serve in the military. So reckoning, before I permaban you, would you like to say you're sorry for saying that? I don't contribute when I pay more taxes because I make far more than 99.9% .9 do. And now, while I'm not trying to bring up my finances, you're not going to sit here and say they're doing more for society when they're not. When I'm paying more in taxes by a massive amount. When I'm contemplating moving to Florida and Texas because I'm getting shot in the foot with taxes over here. So... I'm going to go ahead and ban this guy. Reckoning, I'm going to ban you unless you apologize. That's about it. I'm not bad at math. Not many people that work in the military are paying what I'm paying in taxes. They're not in the highest tax bracket. 
I mean, you want me to call my dad and figure it out? You want to do that right now? I'll sit here and we'll do this the rest of the fucking stream. I could care less. Apologize to my dick. For sure, Fresh, all my points are valid. Go join my Discord, man. All right. I'm going to leave Reckoning. I'm going to leave him. He's got no bans or timeouts. All right, Fresh, I've had problems with you. You get your bitch ass in my Discord or I'm banning you. Fresh, get in my Discord or I'm banning you right now. Let's go. Let's get this over with. Join my Discord. We're done typing. Typing is over. I got you, Reckoning. My bad. Let me talk. Your dad is a war vet. Then that's great. Thank you for your dad serving. I'm not saying don't... You guys are misconstruing what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't thank a guy that has served doing some pussy, not risky shit. I'm saying don't make it sound like this guy's a fucking hero because he wanted to get free college and was smart enough to manipulate the system. I'm saying don't do that one. Don't do that one, guys. Some of them are smart. They come from decent families. They know which branches of the join that avoid you any combat and you get a free college education. Good for them manipulating the system, but they're not in inherent danger and inherent risk. That's just the reality of it. I am so uneducated. Yeah, for sure, King Doogie. I'm not going to let a guy with a five-figure income a year type that to me with a dead Twitch stream. King Doogie, join my Discord now. You make no money in your brain dead. Get your bitch ass in my Discord. Your point is totally moot and you're an absolute retard. Get in my Discord. I got plenty of life experience to know you're a total fucking retard. Join my Discord right now. Watch me mow through these retards. None of them are going to join. Are you guys joining or are you guys too spineless? What do you think? A bunch of yes men who want to agree with the mass opinion? You're going to do something about it. Get the fuck in my fucking Discord, you fucking drones. Now. I'm poor equals you're wrong. No, you're poor with a shit take and you won't join my Discord equals you're wrong. You're muted? You're already muted. Okay. Now I know why. So this guy's already muted. All right, I'm just going to ban you then. If you're already muted, you're a piece of cancer. Yeah, 12 bans, 19 timeouts. Get that cancer out of here. I want the other guy in here. If you're already muted, there's no point of you being in here. Yeah. He's, how is he already muted? Ban that guy from Discord. How are you already muted in my Discord? That means you're a bitch who's strolling. For sure, Drax XBL, bring him on. All right, Drax XBL, are you joining my Discord? You broke fuck with Xbox Live and your gamer tag. All right, so who do we got in here? Let's clean the chat up, guys. Remember, we go up 300 followers a day. All these guys are typing are just outliers standing on the outside. They're just delusional retards who hate me. They're just hate watchers, so we're just trimming the fat. That's all we're doing. We're just getting rid of a bunch of assholes. None of these guys are actually here for me, so we're doing us a favor right now. Okay, so Fresh is gone. Ban that one guy and ban the other guy. Wait, they make it sound like that I'm obligated to keep him here. What's up, Citra boy? How you doing, man? What's up, Ray? I want that guy in here. What's up, Cambos? I got you. Do you see how I don't back down? Do you see how I'm, do you see how I'm gritting my teeth with so much? I'm gritting my teeth with more intensity right now than any one of these guys has ever gritted their teeth doing anything in their entire fucking life. So they have no idea what's going on. They're in a world beyond their wildest recognition right now. I'm ready for it. Let's go. So are they joining? But hear me out, though. But hear me out, chat. So if you think you're a man of action, you think you can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, then why not join my Discord and prove your case? The last guy didn't get the talk because he lied about his whole story. He said he was already deployed. He's not already deployed. That's why he got banned right away. We're not doing that. So you're going to be 100% honest or you're going to be banned. Now get in my fucking Discord and battle me with your fucking point right now. 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 I'm not doing it. Who else is next? Who else? Let's go. I'm right here. Let's go. Discord. All right. Let's go. Drake's XBO. Get in Discord. Who next? Who? What? Who? I'm right fucking here. I'm staring. I'm staring at chat. I want smoke. I want smoke. What, what's going on? What's, I'm saying like, what? You afraid? Let's go. Get in the Discord. I want to do this. Dude is gaining viewers while banning people. Dude, that's what I'm trying to say. Do you understand that they think their point is more valid than mine? 
They think because I rage on Fortnite that I'm a big dumb idiot and that I didn't survive 10 years of heroin addiction and I don't have a 148 IQ. And when they finally do battle with me, wit to wit, they have no idea they're up against an opponent as formidable as me. So a lot of them realize that before they have to get in my Discord, which is why you see a lot of them backing down because they know they're going to make a massive asshole out of themselves. And they're very, very scared of doing that. Oh, all the time, Softy. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm saying, where are all my haters at? Bro, you make a, you you make bank and they're making cancer. Wait, wait. Bro, you make bank and they're making cancer money. Do you think they should make more money when going into combat? I mean, it depends. Yeah. If you go into combat, that's another great point. Correct. A guy that's going into combat should be paid way more. But they're not. Do you think it's fair that that retard that I ban gets to sit in an air-conditioned room and get paid the same amount as some guy who's going on the front line? Do you think that... Why would that make sense? Why would that make sense, man? They do get paid a lot more? No, they don't. No, they don't. They get paid a little more. At entry level, they don't make that much more. They don't. Is it entry level? They don't. Eh, misconception. Eh. No, they don't. Bad take. For sure, Revington. Revington, Discord time. Revington, I know you've had a problem with me for a while. This is going to be your chance. You can bring your ugly ass pit bull in the Discord too. God, that dog is ugly. Great, Revington. Discord time. Discord time. Let's go, Discord time, our favorite time of the stream. Let's go. That's great. You like me for the most part? Great. I like you too, Revington, but your take is shit, so now it's time to defend it. I like you too, but you're not going to speak out of line when you're incorrect and have anyone think you're correct or not correct, guys. So Remington's not getting banned. Just know he's a bitch with no spine with an incorrect take. That's why he won't be joining our Discord today. Hey, it's Lamb, 13 months. Viva Law, 60, 11 months. Unjustified with the 21 months. Shotties, thanks for the six months. Man up and get in there. No, nah, it's safer for him to complain while he's anonymous. Don't worry, guys. It's way safer for Revington to sit there and try to act like he knows what's going on from afar, not having to be held, held accountable, any of that shit. I'm formidable because I'm not taking a fight. Thank you for saying that, sir, sweat a lot. Because I'm not taking a battle that I know I'm not correct on. Because I'm not stupid enough to take a fight that I can't win. I would never do that. I would never sit here and talk about something that I know I could possibly lose the argument to. I know I can't lose this one. I know I can't. Okay, Raging Peacock. I know you're a troll account, man. But uh, Discord, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. People don't fly airplanes in compliment without fixing them. Right, right. But why would you be flexing fixing the planes, Raging Peacock? Great. We almost got through it. Raging Peacock, that sounds great, but now we need you to get in Discord. That sounds great, and I appreciate your attempt. It's sounding intelligent, but we need you in Discord now. I'm going to ban you. That's it. There's no way you're going to hold the stream back by typing in them last second sneak This is without joining Discord. I'm going to ban you if you don't join. Period. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's called having passion, having authority, Juggo. Yeah, I am, Juggo 7 I know, it's not an only Fortnite stream. I know. Are you okay uh, as a Joker profile picture? You passing judgment on me, but you being an irrelevant piece of shit, me getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this? For sure, man. Do you think that I don't think that my opinion's worth more than yours by what I'm paid an hour? I absolutely think I'm worth more than you. And so does society, which is why no one cares about your shit opinion, dummy. So why don't you get your scary bitch ass in my fucking Discord and lose like the man you thought you were, smart guy. Holy fuck. I don't know what they go through. Really? What does some guy building a plane and air conditioning go through? Why don't you join my Discord, huh? Hey guys, what does some guy, what does some guy in air conditioning building a plane that will never see any combat go through? They're like, like what? That is a shit take. That is a terrible take. I don't know, man. I don't know. Probably sweet. I'm getting paid just as much as the guys risking their life. I'm glad I outsmarted the system. That's probably what I'd be thinking. 
The fuck kind of weirdo ass take is that, man? They're a bunch of weirdos, man. A jet mechanic in the Navy makes 20K more a year than the Army infantry? Wait a second. So you're telling me that piece of shit leech makes more than some guy catching bullets? Tell me that ain't true. Someone joined. They don't want to join. They're going to lose the argument. They don't actually want to join. Wait, what? That is sad. I am so sad to hear that, man. I am so disappointed. I am so fucking sad. He gets paid for guys to actually put your opinion. What? You think that, I don't know what your sentence made. Oh, you have Fortnite at the end of your name. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're as useful as John Wayne Gacy. Never mind. Yeah, you don't count. Call of Duty God, four or five. Thanks for the follow. Iron Maiden with the follow. Wait. Oh, he's live? Yeah, dude. Yeah, that, that matters a lot for this stream. I want to hear a bunch of delusional psychotic takes. That's who I'll let know. Holy fuck, dude. I can't believe some of these guys are fucking real. I've literally shit-talked my way to number three on the directory so far, guys. Guys, understand I have a personality. Let's put it in perspective right now. Wait, where am I? Oh, this guy's Spanish. So right now we're number three in English, guys. I haven't played a game in over an hour and I do that to let you know I don't even have to play the game to get anywhere that's how valid my opinion is because uh, ooh, yeah you like how I do it I say whatever the fuck I want you like that dude, dude I shot heroin for 10 years dude they think that these takes are hot do you know what I would have done to you if I saw you 10 years ago 5, 6, 7, 8 years ago man they they think they aren't getting who I am. They just truly don't understand who I am. They don't understand. They think that I'm like, you think, like, guys, you think I'm worried about any one of those dudes' opinions who didn't join my Discord? That's a piece of shit. That's, that's toilet paper. That's a piece of shit. That's nothing. I'm saying that's a loser. That's a downtrod loser with nothing. I, I, I want to make him cry if it was up to me. That's a piece of shit. God damn it. Like, what are you saying? What, what? Like, don't speak the truth so some random useless cocksucker might judge me to hell with you. God. Fucking pussies. All right, moving on. Not I, Guys, I wasn't trying to go on that super long ass rant, but I can't let a retard who doesn't know what they're talking about or he's trying to make it sound like he's aware of something I'm not. No, no, no the fuck you aren't, okay? You aren't a hero. You built the plane. Fuck you. You're not a war hero. You built the plane. You're not better than me. You're not better than anyone in the chat. You didn't serve. I want to ask my dad his opinion about this. I, I want to hear my dad's opinion. <laughs> I want to hear what my dad says. He might disagree with me. That's why I do this. I, I like to get multiple opinions, not just mine. Yeah, diary from a wimpy kid. Yo, that was a good one, uh, Degres. That was a good one. Uh, we should read your book, Diary of a Dead Twitch Streamer with shitty retard branding who couldn't make a thousand followers and tried super hard. Yo, read the cell phone objection. Hey, yo, man, what diary was that, man? Hey, yo, let me see what diary you wrote. Wait, 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 wait. No, because if that's the diary that I wrote, I would love to see the diary you wrote. No, 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 no. Because guys like this think that they won't get it, and you think that, like, that your shitty-ass life is sacred and I won't rip it apart, and you just don't know who you're dealing with. You're right, dude. You're right. I'm the fucking clown. You're right, Jeff. Nice job, Jeff, wearing black. It really hides those 30 extra pounds that shouldn't be there. Good try, uh, Jeff on Pluto. Almost, dude. Very, very, very close. You almost had us fooled there. And I also like how you took the picture farther away. Wait, guys, you see that? You see how he took the picture farther away? <laughs> 
if you see somebody wear black all the time, it means they're self-conscious about their weight. And that's just the reality of it, guys, okay? So when you see a guy like that, that's the reason where his negativity and self-consciousness is coming from. So if I'm from Diary of a Wimpy Kid, then I'm wondering what diary would this guy be from? Uh-oh, guys, that damn action, man! Chat, there he goes! Chat, there he goes! There he goes again! That damn action, man! Well, I was in an action man stream, and let me tell you, good golly gee willikers, I did not like what I had seen in there. He was just so toxic, and he was moving his hands around with such passion and authority, I just couldn't keep up with it. So, Diary of a Wimpy Kid equals well, well, fucking well. Well, good golly gee willikers. I would wonder what this guy looks like. Oh, no face cam. Hmm. You gotta play that Russian music. Russian music? No, you're not. <laughs> oh, you gotta talk <laughs> Diary of a wimpy kid, you're sitting next to your identical twin brother who's somehow more ugly than you are. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Bro, this is Holy shit. Dead, dude. I'm fucking dead. Ooh, almost in a rage. Oh, come on, be committed. Do a rage. Don't do a half ass rage. Do a full one so someone gives a shit about you. For sure. Dot hey Aaron. Holy Is fuck. Swagly 69 I guess I would have to do Diary of a Wimpy Can Kids. Wish her a happy birthday. It would make her night. Hey, Swagly69. Thank you for your or, happy birthday and your 30th birthday. Guys, remember, when you address those guys, it's plural. Diary of Wimpy Kids. Not singular, plural. So you had two people to make it on Twitch and you still failed? Imagine me getting multiplied by two and still failing on Twitch. How? Imagine me multiplying myself and failing. You had double the advantage everybody else did. It wasn't even a good joke. It's not about it being a good joke. I can just see the guys who failed on Twitch and are jealous by the first time comments because I've been doing this long enough. How do you think that whenever I do this, they always have a dead stream looking stupid? Do you ever wonder why and how? Because I've been doing this so long, I can just I fuck the jealousy comment and pull it up. Because I've been doing this for so long. Now, they don't see that, but I do. Let's move on. I will when it's time. When I feel like I'm moving on, I'll move on. I want to move back to being positive vibes, but that's how. But I want you guys to understand this nature of the stream. At any given moment, we can go from zero to this. At any given moment, and that's the action man stream. At any given moment, I'm willing to sacrifice everything I believe in, everything I stand for, to pursue the online argument. We're not going to break TOS. We're not going to be over the top. We're not. We're not going to be. You know. We're not going to cross the line. But you're goddamn right. We're going to give our opinions. And we're going to speak the truth. And we're going to let it all out there. We're going to let it be known. And we're not going to be silenced by a bunch of weirdos who want us to fall in line like them. What's up, Will? No, actually, Will. Actually, no, Will. I, I want to talk to you because Will's ex-military. I want to talk to Will. Will, Will, Will. Join live on air. No, no, because Will's ex-military and I want to hear from him. He's served. He's seen crazy shit. No, because I want to hear his take. Will, join Discord. He's in the court. All right, go away. Will has permission. No, I want it because Will's he served. He's seen a bunch of crazy shit. And I want to see his opinion because I believe that I'm saying if he's if someone like him is saying that I'm wrong, then I'm willing to admit I'm wrong. What take? I want to like get, let's get Will in the Discord. No. Because what I was doing, I originally started that because Will has seen a bunch of combat and I don't feel that Will should be compared at the same level as a guy that makes planes inside a bunker in air conditioning away from combat all day. To me, that's not fair. Now, if I'm wrong 
and it's everybody who joins is treated the same, then I'll admit I was wrong. But to me, I felt that like a medal or, or certain acknowledgements isn't enough. It's like, if you're going to say you served in the military, I'm going to assume you fucking risked your fucking life for my country. Or like you did something that's, that's commemorable or admirable of some sort. Does that make any sense? I, I, I would assume that. One sec. I'm not dragging out the argument. This is a serious discussion. Will, what's up, baby? Will, were you here during the entire discussion or were you here at the end? What up, what up? Well, so how much of this conversation did you hear? Mm, just a little bit. What's okay, up? all right. So now tell the chat what you served in. Now, okay, so Will doesn't know what you're talking about. Uh, dude, Will's my boy. Will's going to be coming over soon. You guys are going to be seeing Will. You've already seen Will and Trinus and my dog. Will, tell them what do you do. You mind if I do you mind if I ask you to share what you served as or what you've done as in the military? Nah, that's fine. All right. So can you tell them what you've done? Uh, yeah. So, um, I served 22 years in the Marine Corps. Uh, I retired as a master sergeant, first sergeant, acting sergeant major. Uh, I've had multiple combat deployments. Uh, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Southern Watch. Uh, I've been to 31 different countries, uh, combat multiple times, indirect, direct fire. Uh, also, non uh, non combatant places, things of that nature. Right. Uh, it just really depends on you know what what it is. So, I've been to Iraq, uh, in the Middle East, uh, Iraq, Qatar, UAE. <sighs> Um, of course, we're not allowed in Iran, um, in right. Syria, but of course we fly over those Turkey, uh, Armenia, a couple of places, uh, Kazakhstan, things like that. But um, ultimately, what we did is, I mean, the biggest thing that you guys will know is that, like, when we crossed the line of departure on March 18th, when we left Kuwait and we went and up to five and, you know, flooded basically all the way to Baghdad. Um, and then we took over that. After that, we were in Fobs and Fallujah, um, Ramadi, you know, things of that Ramadi, things of that nature. But we stayed out there. Uh, I was out there for about, you know, seven months uh, the first time. Been out there a couple other times. Okay. Okay. Now, I asked you that. Now, now, Will, honest question here. Now, when someone's saying they served, I'm not saying that someone that, because this guy say, oh, he served in the military. And he said it as in like to either discredit me or to add mm -hmm. more credit to himself. And my fundamental basis was I said, well, he probably wasn't an actual in the middle. He probably didn't. He probably was one of those guys that fixed planes, and that's what he wound up being. Now, am right. I saying that those guys aren't needed? No. Am I saying that guy didn't serve? No. I'm saying, right. do I feel that guy should be held in the same regard as Will? Absolutely not. I'm saying, Will, do you believe in that? Or, or I'm saying, or maybe that is the military. Come one, come all. Or that guy's role, according to their, according to their thing, that guy did the same amount of you did. But to me, that doesn't make sense because that's not true. Oh, I, I'll tell you what we think about it in the in the military, right? So, <clears throat> if you know anybody in the military, you'll know that you'll know this is that. Me being in the military and me dealing with my brothers and sisters at arms in the Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, whatever, we're allowed to talk shit on each other, but the moment somebody else does, we're ready to fight. You're ready fuck to fight. Up. You know what I'm saying? We can do it, but when somebody else does, it's whatever. What? Now, okay, okay. I understand, but like on the channel, I get it. You know what I mean? Because people are already coming at you. you and I, and I was never saying, oh, fuck this guy for serving. That's never what I said. Right, exactly. I said, right, right, right. fuck this guy for making it seem like he's doing what Will was doing. Does that make any right. sense? And I don't no, do that. I, so that's not a. Is that, should I not have done that, Will? Because you, no, I, no, no. And, and that's not it. But here's the thing. Okay. And, and I'll tell you this: is that there's a lot of. So there's a lot of individuals that were in the military, that that did like. So they signed up for a four year contract and they didn't even make it. You see what I'm saying? Right. But they will claim I was military. I was military. I served. I this and that. And then there's somebody who made it eight, 10, 12 years and got, then got out. And then there's me who retired right. after 22. You right. see what I'm saying? And then you have individuals that never went to combat and then people that went to combat. See, that and, guy, and, that guy already so, threw me off because he first said he was deployed and then he came in the Discord and said he wasn't deployed and got caught in the lie on stream. So that's why I just kicked him out right away because that was just... Right. Like, to me, so when you start embellishing it, that's when I'm just off board. Right. So there's deployments. Now, here, I went on a thousands of deployments, right? Well, not thousands, but, you know, that's an exaggeration. Right. But deployments, you can do a UDP, which is 
uh, a unit deployment program, and most units do that. And you can go from you know being in California, and you can go on UDP to Okinawa, Japan. You can go into the Mediterranean. You could go here, there, and whatever. And you will not see combat at all. You'll, so you'll stay on. They're, they're, they're saying, that, they're saying that combat is rare because there is a guy. So are you say are you agreeing combat is rare? Combat is rare. Okay. So there's a difference between the deployment. In a combat deployment, because right. usually when there's a combat, uh, when there's combat involved, it's it's usually called a campaign. Those things that I listed to you earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Operation Southern Watch, Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, all those three things right there, those are 100% combat. Right, so so he was kind of agreeing with me and saying that, like, for you to say, oh, like, it was the way he said it. Because after meeting you, Will, when I hear somebody served, it's no longer... Oh, this guy might have been building a plane, but he still helped us. It's, I'm thinking of what your situation and in, in the guys in World War II. Or I, I, and I'm not trying to discredit the guys that are making the planes like they're not doing anything. I just felt you just can't just say you served unless you served. Does that make any sense? Because some guys will say they served and they didn't even go across this country. They didn't even leave the country. Right. So I'm saying, like, no, don't you feel that's really true. so? Don't you feel that's disrespect? I would, I would be if I were to serve. I would feel disrespected to have somebody say they served but never left the country. Me, no, personally. I don't, I don't, I don't feel disrespected because here's the deal. Like, so, so for me, it's 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 hard to say because and and I know people in chat won't. Some people won't agree, and that's okay, right? But like the Marine Corps, less than one percent of the population is capable of, being of even it, being a marine right of, of even capable of being it so the the individuals that made it to being a they're marine, a different breed so you're just different like you are my brother that's, and that's what like, i was referring fine. to but i'm saying, so, I'm saying, saying? so why would a guy that's making a plane have that same mentality that's what i was trying to put my finger on will that's what i was trying to put my finger on and I'm not uh, saying well, they don't, I mean, but the stakes are so much high. It's like, and maybe part of this is because I never served. I just feel like if I if I had served or I had known someone that had served and they never saw combat or even helped with anyone that saw combat, I just feel like that's something that's very serious and should be treated as something serious and shouldn't be compared to someone unless they serve. That was my well, mentality, but I've never served, so I don't know. Right. So the service thing, you got to understand. Like in 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 chat, this this is for you guys. Like we are literally, the, so we had 182 thousand people, right? When I was somewhere around there, when when the war and everything was going on, we plussed up to 202, and I'm specifically talking about the Marine Corps, and then we went back down, right? We are a cult, and I'm not going to lie about that. So you're the Marine Corps, the cult. specifically, specifically, just the Marine Corps. We're fanatical, we're cultish, we're whatever. They're, they're, this, these are individuals that you just don't want to fuck with because we're you a little bit crazy, and they breed us like that. Right. So when it comes to when it comes to individuals having that that that, that confidence and that that thought process of fuck yeah, I served, I was a, you know I was this, then it's just different. They feel different because that's the way that they have to have us. Because when we go into combat. We have to have the confidence to and the ability that. to go in so there with that are, mentality. So if you would have heard this guy, so so do you feel it's okay? So would you personally, this is your personal take here. Are you okay with some guy who only worked on planes during non-war periods of time? Okay with kind of like being locked in with you and what you did. Are you okay with that? Because this is up to you. That's, I never served. So this for is me, for me, anybody, like if you served and you served honorably, that's the kicker. Honorably. You had to have done four years or whatever your contract is and get out honorably. That's if you have not, not done that, not then fuck the rest. So because you're not you're right. part of the team. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying you would definitely at least have to have done that, all that. You, would, you had just to like get your contract and been right. done with it. Yeah. Okay. You had to leave comfortable, you know, so honorably. So if that guy, what's it, I, we, we don't know if that guy did or not. We never will. Right. So let's just assume. So if he did, you were, you would be saying, and this you need to be honest, I was wrong because I'm going to say I was wrong if you say this. You're saying, because I've never served, so I'll never disrespect some guy that actually served, or maybe not actually, but served in general. So if you're telling me right now I should apologize to that guy for making planes, not during wartime, and I was wrong for saying that he shouldn't even say, I felt that he was using it as a bartering tool, 
or as a brokerage so, so well oh, here let me stop you here's the thing here, i didn't hear the entire conversation right and in 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 chat will probably notice you probably know this there's a lot of people out there that will say that they served and never did motherfuckers will be out there with I pictures they service. have uniforms that they got at fucking thrift shops they have uh and it's called stolen valor you see what i'm saying so that's one thing that you have to look out for if they, and there's a lot of people so out there that do that. And these are individuals that show up on Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and they go to Applebee's and they try to get the fucking discount and everything, and they wear uniforms that don't right, even right, shit like that. Like that. I'm, not, I'm not saying that guy's. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm but not that's, saying that but, guy's doing that, but I'm know. saying like I don't want to see him as, as a civilian who never did that. I feel like that's not fair to you, but if you're saying that's not how the military works, then I owe you an apology. And but I'm no, wrong. yeah, like, we generally, if you served and you served honorably, then you're part of the team. So you were the, he if was you the did same now, team member. Inside, inside the military, yes, we will give you shit, because, like, I have four combat tools. Uh, but I, I wasn't I in have, the military. I have, yeah, like, I have a fucking, you know, bronze star and a combat action ribbon, and I have a fucking MSM. In a, you know what I mean? Like these right. things, right? I have these things and you don't. So does it make me better than you? Yo, I just have more experience than you. I'm an but outsider. But when, when it comes to certain aspects of that game, like when it when bullets come start, you know, when rounds come down range, are you going to fucking clam up and go in a fetal position or piss yourself? Or are you going to be, you're going to be on my left or right hand side? Right. That's the big fucking difference. Because I don't know. I know what I will do. You see what I'm saying? Like I've been there and done that. I got the T-shirt. So, and the so hat. okay, but what? It, so I'm saying. So it's like if he says I serve in the military, but like, what if he's lying or what if he's exaggerating it? Like, what if he's saying it to just gain the edge in the conversation? What if and he the may case? be, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? So you're because saying the next, that's what I'm saying. But people will do it. That's why I called them in the Discord and I heard an inconsistency in his story. Let's well, get yeah, him back they, in they, here right now. I think the best way to solve this is get him back in here for a third time. Well, the thing is, is you just need to know certain things, right? That they might not know. Like, you know what I mean? If you know about discharges, if you know about a DD-214, if you know about, you know, MOSs in the in the military and certain things he's that people saying, do. He's saying, he's, those are things he, that, he's saying it, those, are, uh, those are certain things that you will be able to be able to be like, oh, you know what? You're fucking lying because that doesn't exist. Or they don't do that anymore. Or X, Y, and Z. You, you see what I'm saying? Okay, but what about people that say, okay, if you're not in the military, don't talk shit. A, I wasn't talking shit to the military. I was saying I felt that this, that's why I brought Will here. I felt he was using it to gain an advantage in an irrelevant conversation. Does that make any sense? I felt no, like it, was, it wasn't him about being proud of his country. It was him about using it as a tool to win the argument. And I'm sure so that would let, be the last thing he would want to do. Let me ask a question. <laughs> what was the... Was it like, hey, what do you do with your life? Yes, exactly. You because I was saying that if you fucking play Fortnite, the whole, you know, if you're playing this game 13 hours a day, you shouldn't be doing that uh -huh. that thing, that spiel. Okay. Okay. And, 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 and I it mean, spiraled into this guy. He said he's in the military. And that's another thing that rubbed me the wrong way. How are you watching this stream when I'm playing Fortnite and shoving in the U.S. military into the conversation over that? That is weird. <laughs> is that not bizarre? I, I, I mean, especially if you're kind of using it as a fucking like punctuation so, point, like I was in the U.S. military. I will, like, I'll tell you this, <laughs> and, and I, you, you and I have talked a lot, you know, especially at the house when I was there, and you know me, like I don't bring that shit up. Right, that's all. what I'm saying. You don't. I, I, I never I bring it up the fact that I've been in the military right. at all. I felt that he was out of pocket for doing else. it. Correct. Yeah. Like, I, I don't agree. If somebody goes like, hey, what do you do or what have I'm like, I'm retired. And they're like, how right. the fuck are you retired? You're young. Right. And then I tell them. You're right? Not, right, right, right. Where that guy <laughs> brought it up is like, this is how he's going to win the conversation about Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, I'm like, oh, like, what? Dude, like, what? Yeah. I mean, it's it's different. You know, a lot of people, I you know, asked him bring what he that does up for, work. for different right, things. Right. But, then, but instead um, of him saying what he did, he responded right. with a negative connotation. He responded with a... Uh, with the, oh, well, I'm in the military. When in reality, well, you know, I'm sorry, what, go, go on, ahead. go on, go on. No, go, 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 go. No, that's why I want to get this guy in here. Why don't we just get him in here? No, because I was just saying, like, a lot of people say that shit because in, in, in the way that it works, because you got to remember, from 2001, right, when 9-11 when happened, well, we, we started this war in 2003, right? Because I was there on March 18th. Oh, he's in here, when he's we in here. The LOD, yeah, go on, go right? on, go on, go on. He's in here, though, keep going. Like, I was there 
when we were when we were crossing LOD going into fucking right. Iraq, right? Right. And, and I stayed there for a whole year on a special mag type, and that's fine, right? A lot of individuals, and I'm not saying you know here or there. So if if the person is in here in this call right now, he yeah, I don't know you. you. I didn't hear the conversation. Dude. I'm not saying you're this or that. So I hope you understand that because we don't want to get into that. Right, right. Body, and I'm know, saying, let, let me contest, say something. I, let me say right? something. I was I was coming up on a vitamin. I might have snapped, but I read it as that he was saying. Oh, I was in the military making planes, so therefore I'm entitled to act or behave this certain kind of way. That's how I read it. But now I could have misread that. I just felt mm -hmm. like a guy like you, Will, and I was thinking about you the whole time I was talking to him. I, I, the guy in here, I was literally thinking about this guy in here right now. We're a guy that had been seen through so much. I just wanted him to feel like that. He wasn't having his name, not, I don't want to say dragged down, but yeah, dude, I believe you know, from an outsider looking in, and this was an outsider, and this is why I might have had the incorrect take, that that a guy like Will and you, not that you're worse or whatever, I, I had a hard time contemplating risking my life and getting the same credit as someone that didn't. That's all I was saying, dude. Now I want to hear this guy's side. Could you tell Will exactly what you did and so on and so forth? Because if I didn't care and if I was truly a bitch and a dick, I never would have brought this guy back in here for the third time. But it's more important that I'm correct about my assessment than me being, than, it's more correct that the morality is figured out than me being correct. So I brought him back in here. So if I have to be incorrect, that's what I'm willing, that's what I'm willing to do. Because it's not about me being right in here and shutting everybody else up. That's not what we do in here. And that's why I brought him back in here. Okay. I all have right. listened to all your points so far. Listen, let me hear what you got to say, all right, Cole. Um, To Will, I was in the Air Force for four years, which he may knock. Um, I was an F-15E avionics troop. Um, I was in Operation Inherent Resolve and Spartan Shield. Um, oh, you were in Inherent Resolve? Yes, sir. And okay. um, I was deployed to Jordan for eight months. Okay. And that was my, that was my All right. I was in Inherent Resolve as well. So what does that mean to an outsider? What does that explain? What that, is that a crazy? Like, what does that mean? Like, it's, it's just, just like, it's, it's an operation. It's an operation? Yeah. So his goal, it's his goal was to fix play so was there combat involved in this and it shouldn't matter if there was but i'm just curious so was there combat um, in this i i do not ever hold a gun in combat you didn't hold a combat but i'm saying you might have built like you were doing something with planes or people that you all were doing the planes that all i work on drop bombs uh, yeah they all have okay. bombs so on. inherent resolve it does not involve ground combat you know what i mean not not a lot anyway so most of it's running sorties, things like that. Air Force is definitely going to run a lot on that, uh, especially like when I was doing uh, Operation Southern Watch. We didn't do a lot. It was a lot of the Air Force, it was a lot of the Marine um, uh, F-18s. It was a lot of our Harriers, the Harrier strike groups going out and F-35s going out and doing the same things. So while there is not ground combat and trigger pulling going on, there's air it's combat air and combat, we're on the still, ground. Okay, okay, all right. So he said that. So. Oh, go on, my bad. I said he said that. Uh, so, oh, my bad. Sorry. So when an individual works, so you got to understand, there's there's individuals out there that that fly fucking drones that drop megaton bombs on people. You know what I mean? On cities. That that is considered combat, even though they're not on the ground. That's one thing that you need to understand. Like, if I fly a fucking drone over a city and drop a megaton bomb Dude, on yeah, it obviously and destroy that city, that's yeah. combat. Obviously, right? You yeah, know what I mean? Combat, yeah. But that person can be doing it from Las Vegas and do it somewhere right, in right. Europe. I think, I think here's the disconnect here, and I should have let fans? you talk more. And here's what I'll admit. I was wrong to this guy. I should have let him talk more. I'll admit I was wrong. I admit so, I was it, wrong. It is not a problem. No, it is because I was wrong and I was given a spiel. But let me let me let me let me say something though. Do you understand what I was saying? Like like oh. what you did had like like you probably seen it yourself. You probably seen a bunch of guys that that didn't fucking what's it called? Like didn't yeah. didn't even do anything you did and we're claiming my bad. Go on, go on. Inside all day, the finance dudes who sit inside all day who have never left their desk. Who just sit there and you come in they're not even at their desk they're at lunch for four hours that day i understand so i was speech. right but i mistargeted this so i was yeah. right but i, I mistargeted this there is a level of military where it is just administration right and it's just and it's just that's just it done. and that's it yeah well those guys don't deserve to not be accredited i i was just saying i felt to use your military and i misread this and this is why i'll admit i was wrong because that's part of the stream i'll always admit when i'm wrong 
I'll admit I was wrong. But I, I was wrong because I felt like I didn't want to see that. Like, do you see what I'm saying, dude? Unban this guy you. from the chat, too. I didn't want to oh. see your, like, someone who's doing shit. But and this is where I'm wrong here, and I'm going to fall back from this. Because you guys are saying as long as that guy did what he was supposed to do, he deserves just as much as a military man, a, a Marine. I'm saying that doesn't make sense to me, but you guys are this saying I'm not gun. in the military, so gun. I need to back Machine. out. That's what, is, is that the, the truth? Because tell me, dude. Gun. I'm not. This I'm not. Because, fight. dude, you oh, guys yeah. serve. I don't want to disrespect <laughs> the military because I'm, I'm no, a pussy. So I'm here, not here's going what over there to fight. You know what I'm saying? How do you say your name? Is it Kanara? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, okay, so... So here, here's what I'll say, Aaron, is that the, when you go up, when you go against somebody who's fucking in the military or says that they're in the military, just know what you're talking about, right? Right, right. Because we can, you know, I, I'll definitely tell you, there's people that are in the military right now that I'll easily be like, you ain't shit. You know what so I mean? You'll like, say it, but you can say you, that because you're in the military. I can't say you it don't because deserve I'm not. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and they're going to, but they're, you know, they'll fight you tooth and nail, right? They'll, they'll right. fight you tooth and nail and be like, even though you're a civilian and they're in the military, but that don't mean shit. You got to understand that. Okay. This is why I never bring up because the Because you are that trying that to have in that the fucking, happen. Yeah, listen, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I do not bring up the fact that I'm in the fucking military or I, I, I'm retired from the military. I just say I'm retired, right? And, and if they happen to ask me, then I'll be like, yeah, I, did, I was in Marine Corps 22 years and moved the fuck on. Why? Because it doesn't mean anything. And when people say thank you for serving, I always thought I always tell them. And what do I tell you? Because you you told me that too, and I said don't worry about it. It's just a job. It's just a job. It's the career that I picked, and that's what happened. Because you got to remember, firemen, nurses, fucking cops, all of them see fucking combat all right. the goddamn time, right? right. I True. see it when there's a war, right? right? I see. What you're I saying. see it when right. there is, you know, when they called me because I was on a couple different things that, you know, people don't know about. But like the things like that where there's combat involved, but whatever. But you, you got to understand is that it's a fucking job. That's it's a job, it. and people pick it, and and a cop and a, a, a everybody has their own right. shit, and that's that's what you got to understand. Right, living living being a cop in Chicago. Or fucking Mexico or anywhere is just as grueling as as going and, and spending a year in Iraq or fucking Afghanistan. So if I'm, you understand so, what I'm okay, saying? so I guess I guess why this one. So going forward, if someone's gonna drop the military claim and I want to go this route, I need to first get them in Discord and establish before we go farther. Then, because I was wrong, because I was in the wrong. This guy did exactly what I said he didn't do and I'm in the wrong and I have to acknowledge that so I guess yeah, going forward that I have to acknowledge that I, I I just don't want to be in a position where like like someone's trying to jab me and he might have done a very small amount of work in the military and gets to kind of use that to kind of sneak over on me or somebody else does that make any sense who, you, who might be a cop yeah, or a firefighter I, I but you also don't want to run into somebody who's like me. Right. No, 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 you're right. You're right. You're right. And, they no, and, I, and I was wrong. And, 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 and I was wrong. And they, you get them in Discord and, and they're like, wrong. no, no, no. Fuck the talking shit. Right. Put and the I was camera wrong. on. And then I'm going to show you no, everything. No, you're right. And, I, and, and I'll say I was wrong. Asshole. And I'm going to say I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I wasn't all the way wrong. But I was wrong because I'm not in the middle. But my point was correct. But I was wrong because I'm not in the military. And I'm just not allowed to, to do it. That's, is that a fair take? Right. So even yeah, though my yeah. point might be valid, it's not valid for me. Is that the best yeah. way to take it? Is that is that the fairest? Like, I, to the guy in yeah. here, like, I hope the guy yeah. in here like can like accept my apologies. But hear me out. Did I not? But hear me out. If I was a bitch, would I have gone out of my way to make it right? If I was truly a bitch, would I have gone out of my way to like? And I even said I might be wrong, but I have to make sure that that my end is clear. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely appreciate you bringing me back in a third time. Yeah, yeah, no, and, I, and I'm calmer now. You know that one girl, we can unban her. I don't care. She got under my skin, and that kind of sent me into that. So I'm leveling with you and everyone. Like I'm just being real, but I also know, you know, I'm also gonna like, I get a little rowdy. You know, what I'm saying I was feeling a little intoxicated, but I'm saying like I, I will admit I apologize to you. I was wrong, and bro, I was and I was wrong. I was wrong about you. And I was I apologize, and I was wrong, and I'm mad to admit that. I look at Will way higher than myself in the military. He has served way That's what I'm saying. So whatever, exactly. So I'm saying like, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, There is a rapport that is there. There is a rapport, but, right. And dude, let me tell you something. I've dealt with military guys. To the guy in here right now, not many of them are as well-spoken or as intelligent as you. So I want to say you also aren't 
the usual kind of guy that comes in here. You're very more well spoken and, and <laughs> way the more articulate. Coming out in is that what it is? Wait, well, I've That's talked to military Force. guys. They aren't all like this, man. Like, let's be honest, dude. I, I'll tell you, look. So you see, here's the funny thing, right? When he came in and he was like, "I was in the, was the Air Force," and he said, "He'll probably give me shit for that." And I was about to, but I didn't. You know what I mean? Because we're all same group, but in in in. Canara probably knows is like I'll give him shit and he can give me shit, right? Because I'll be like Air Force, Flyboy, he'll be like Air Marines, he crowns, blah blah blah. But all in the end, we're still fighting the same fucking battle. So yes, we need to, you know, we need to fucking link up and be cool with it. You know what I mean? Right, but we right, still right, give each right, other right. shit. You know what I mean? But oh, uh, you know, ultimately it's. Dude, I know. I'm shit. glad I had this talk. Whatever Marines were on the ground, I was dropping bombs to help them. That's the point. Damn. Dude, see, that was, I'm going to tell you, the, the, the mistake I made in the argument was letting you talk. This could have been resolved. I was just, I should have let you talk. But I'm saying, though, I don't want to think that it's because you didn't do that. You were worthless. Like, I'm not saying because you didn't insist in combat you were worthless. That's not what I was saying. I felt like this guy might have been trying to, like, get more out of the argument by using. Does that make any sense? But that, that that's all I meant, dude. That's about it. We're just, I'm kind of going in circles. Yeah, yeah. But just know, and, and you know, just leave it at that. It's like, just know, argue with whoever low, you want low, to. Low, low, but low, low, you just low, gotta low, remember low, that, low, like, low, low, we low. we look at it a little bit different. Right. Long, the first thing you need to do is like, did you serve honorably? You know, did you get out? How many years did you do? Did you fucking serve honorably? And if they're like, or they give you some weird shit, you know what I mean? Then 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 you can go at them. Because if you didn't serve honorably, then it don't fucking matter. You're just okay. a regular dumbass fucking person like everybody else, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, what? Well, I'm gonna tell you like that. Like, we're nothing special, right? Like, we're just regular. Anybody who's in the military is nothing special. And I'm gonna tell you that now. You know what I mean? I mean, we're I just disagree, regular fucking though. People. I mean, I disagree, bro. I mean, it takes a special breed to me. I mean, that's, that's kind of why I said, like, 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 to me, I don't think you guys are just like anybody else. You guys are risking the ultimate life for our freedom. And that's that's basically what I meant. I, it was supposed to be a compliment, but my anger and my passion got misguided. Does that make any sense? 100%. That's what, that's, that's the fairest, best way to explain this. Yeah, unban him, unban this. Will, can you unban him from the chat? Yeah. I'm... I fucking dropped my thousand pay! Fuck! Oh, he's a bad. No, yeah, you're good, you're good. Thank you, Will. Yeah, All right, man. No, well, this, he, uh, is, this was a good ass conversation, man. I mean, I'm saying now I have, now I learned. No, dead ass, bro. I learned from this, dude. Dead ass. No one said I was perfect, bro. But do you see how I handled, do you see how I went out with this? Do you see how like, I wasn't trying to be right if I wasn't right? Did you see that? But hear me out. I wasn't trying to be right to look like I'm a tyrant. I was trying to be right because I thought I was right. But the second I realized I might not be right, I knew I had to correct that behavior. Do you see what I'm saying? All right. But I'm saying, yeah, this could have been squashed way earlier than that. Hey, and then he fucking saw him. Let's go, baby. <laughs> he followed and saw. Hey, Brianna with the 27 months. Canaria with the tier one. Welcome to the most positive pro military stream on Twitch, baby. Let's go, baby. I back down early. We're proud of you. It's not about backing down. If I'm not right, I'm not right, I got man. Heated to Aaron. You know what I'm Much saying? Respect that you no, GG. This time. That's what I'm saying, man. But we do that in here. But do you see some people didn't even want to see us argue? That's fine. Now me and this guy might be better friends than anybody. Now me and this Kanara guy, we might wind up being better friends in here than anyone ever before. Do you see how that works? Now because this happened, there's a level of bond between us. I'm not saying have this happen every fucking time. But I'm saying like there, it's not always a negative thing. Mackie, free that girl who I insulted with the uh, anime profile picture or whatever earlier. You can free her as well. And then some dude asks, where is Kevin in the middle of all this, man? God damn this channel. You got everything in here. And then in the middle of all this, some dude asks, where Kevin at? God fucking damn it. All right. Anyways, Mark Motive. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to play. It's going to be a good stream. Bro, wait. 
Yo, Bree, did I think you guys pro card, bro? Spit on my EJ. Roger with the follow. J Pop 56. A Tick Abby. Golden Boy 1017. Get some with the bits. Mud Crab two months. Free the Tates with the follow. Lap Pick with the follow. Get some thousand bits here, man. Direct TV with the nine months. Kim Bell with the follow. Southside Messi with the follow. Uh, Cryptic with the follow. God damn it. Uh, Mark Motive with the Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome. Ban myself. I got to insult my dad. I actually have to insult my dad. I actually, I'm going to ban myself and insult my own dad. I'm going to insult my own. I'm going to give my dad an unban right now. What's up, Nicole Dad, I, I, I lost the debate, so I have to insult you. Yeah. You are a huge sperm gobbling, absolute mammoth, cum guzzling Sith Lord. You are the biggest dick blowing retard on this side of the Mississippi. I can't even you fucking are. believe how fucking money dudes you suck off a night. I'm just fucking humiliated. You are a sperm magnet and a sperm savant. I can beat you. I can beat that. You know what you are? What am I? You're a diseased rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> Dizzy. Oh my god. There you go. He didn't go on school, bro. <laughs> Damn, you see how look, I'm saying you can't even hate me. I treat myself like I look, I had to give myself an um man. I'm saying you see how I keep it real? I treat myself I'm saying when I'm wrong, I'm, you see how I do that? Look what I do. I I hold myself to the same fire. If I'm wrong, I have to be humiliated because I'm wrong and that's not okay. I was such a loser. You didn't think I'd do that? Yeah, motherfuckers are real over here, man. I'm not sitting here trying to hold. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, ooh, ooh I'm action, man. I'm right. No, man. I'm no better than, I'm, I'm a fucking junkie who wants smoke. That's what I said. I said, I don't, that's what happens. Whenever they hear a motherfucker, I'm bringing up what he made. I'm, I, I'm looking at it like, I'm just a drug addict on the West Side. I'm ready for war. You see what I'm saying? My brain don't work properly. It don't work properly, man. So I'm helping my brain. These instances help my brain work better, man. That's about it, man. Yeah, my dad. My dad shit on me pretty bad. Jeff, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate you, man. All right. Let's move on here. It's been a wild and wacky time. All right. Holy shit. Well, with the 20 gifted. Man, this channel a little crazy than a motherfucker. Yo, Willy, Willy, Willy. Willy, Willy, Willy. Willy, Willy, Will. Willy, 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 Will. Yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. Wait, me and Scope are supposed to play. Wait, is FNCS still going on? Dude, I don't see scoped online. Well, <laughs> he probably clicked on the stream. He he probably opened up the stream. Man, fuck this shit! If you don't go there, okay, let's play with Action Man another night. <laughs> Just opened up to a fucking war zone. All right, let me play this one last game, then I'll go to Phil's, man. Let's just reset our vibes, you know what I'm saying? Will, thank you for the 20 sub gifts. Dude, Will, I was just talking about you today with me and Nate. Will, when the basement gets done, bro, I'm having you fly over. Guys, everybody follow Will on Twitch. You guys, please, man. You guys, that's my bodyguard and my brother, man. Follow the killer virus, man. That's my boy who was just in the Discord, man. Make sure to give him a follow, man. That's my brother over there, man. That's my broski over there, man. Oh, God, that's my dog over there, man. Everyone follow that motherfucker over here, man. Nah, man, you need to follow my boy. If you fuck with me, follow my boy Will over here. You became a heavy weed smoker. That's what I'm saying, Will. Thank you, man. You know I love you, dog. I'm saying, bro, I know I'm not perfect. I know I got, you know what I'm saying? I know I got places to go and places to be and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? What? Well, thank you, man. <sighs> What's up, Alex? I got you, Will. I gotta wait for the basement to get done. 
All right, let's get high and have a good stream, man. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, kick me up. Yeah. Pope old baby. That was a little bit of an intro over there, man. That was a little bit of an intro over there, man. Yeah. Check me with it, babe. Let's go. Let's go. Darling, you're such a man. Yeah, yeah, uh. The intro is over. Get ready to come over. Man, you know me. I can't ever stream sober. I want to act like I might know it all. But I want to overdose like Michael on some poker ball. Going through withdrawal while getting into a debate. All I want to do is see the boys free tate. If not, I know that's never a month to what I make. And then I have to still crack and sell it on steak. All I want to do was get my life in a barrel. Want to be funny, compare me to a little Will Ferrell. I can tell you can see, man, I'm sitting not feral. I want to be a drone and reproduce when I'm not barrel. Around the wrong clock, I'm a different kind of species. Open you up like a cup and eat you like some Reese's. I'm like an alien, call me a different species. I want to put this from a different together, call me a PCs. Down together, man, this is my own totem pole. I'm about to fuck around and violate my own parole. This is tough to tell, streaming is taking its own toll. I know I might have sold myself to the Fortnite soul. Don't want to put me on a diss track without no smack. I can't believe my shit, I'm chasing my tail with no back. My whole spine is crawling and we all in. I feel like I might be going Lil Wayne, Jim Joe ball in. Put me on top, dog. Hitting expertia. I know anyone looks at me, the wrong criteria. You want to put this shit on Delivia? My whole life is fucked up. You better see Deliria. I'm seeing different colors, man. I want the rubber. I'm getting streets like my mother got no rubber. Oh my god, I'm fucking getting chased by a chicken. Now everybody on my team, we all willing to win in. Bam, holy shit, action man. He a different dude. Walking around because you see this shit. He's in a bad mood. His bipolar is acting. Up, we gonna run because he's gonna have to act like he's chasing his own son. The holy grail man without Nas or Jay Z. Have to work hard, dog. I could never have been lazy. Wanna kill your whole family? Call me John Gacy. This is what I have to do because my parents didn't raise me. My whole life is fucked up. It's hard to even deny. I know the day I die, I'm going to hell to be fried. Me and Satan, we gonna have a whole bunch of incinerate. Every single day we like Drew on the 51st dates. We gonna create a whole lot of motherfucking evil. Walking around cute, deceptive like I might. Be a beagle, but you lift up my shirt. I got a Glock, call it a deagle. I'll see you on the beach with a whole bunch of dead seagulls. You can see this shit in Ohio with a big old smog. I'm eating you down to the drop, the corn, the car. I'm sitting all day beating my dick like it's a hog. I'm too lazy as shit, I can't get me a fucking job. Time to put this shit together, man. This is a picture puzzle. I wanna walk around a pit bull with no muzzle. Take this shit, I wanna follow this shit as the old guzzle. My own version of my life is fucked up, it's out of trouble. I wanna sign myself to a different kind of a deal. I had to go ahead and steal to make sure I could get my own wheels Now I got a bunch of people who wanna count on me I better hit this three like I'm Steph Curry If not, I'm gonna be homeless, I'm gonna be in my own zone Nothing else I can do to top you when I'm in my own tone I want you to take, you better bring some tape This is my old dance, the devil with the fake can wait Put me on the come up, man, I wanna be in MTV You can see me, I'm invisible, they can't even breathe me I wanna walk around because I live life so freely You can't judge me, homie, you wanna come and go beat me Put me down to the level, you wanna dig your old grave I wanna party like I'm taking X at a fucked up rave I don't know how to conduct myself or how to behave So I don't get invite tournaments, never come in my own way That's what I gotta say, hitting the shit I'm sweeting the bite legit like a licorice shit That's what I wanna tell you man, I'm the greatest freestyler Can't believe I'm this good dog, be here for a while Need a haircut, my shit looking fucked up on the clean I wanna open the sap second, you know what the beam I'm the greatest person man, we getting ready for the war Hard to believe that I'm I'ma tear the door off the fucking floor. Yeah. Yeah. New beat. I wanna give this shit warm up like a pancake I wanna flip the shot and put syrup wherever I make I know you wanna see this shit dog, but we ain't gonna be I feel like I could be blind, call me the Steve with no Ray D I wanna flip this shit like a lighter to exciter You can't feel this shit, I'm drinking this shit like apple cider I know you wanna 
But see this shit, I'm talking through some barbed wire Been locked up in prison so much I can't even see my father Damn, how the fuck? Man, you always looking homeless Fucked up on K2, I was in my old zone list Took on this shit, man, you know a whole lot of fucking dreams Now I wanna compensate, you can tell the benzodiazepine I wanna take a couple bars, I wanna nod out when I'm sitting No man, man, I can just sit here in my dog study shitting Ready for my option, take the freestyle, not we dipping I'm putting my fingers in the bag because I'm steady dipping If you wanna book with me, I'm a real fucking drug dealer Look at this shit, taking it home with no dealer Take the day off, call me looking like I'm Fuse Bueller Don't need this shit because I'm coming to see you, you won't be ya Man, my life is so fucking goddamn rich, real confusion You know we can't take my odds and everybody be losing I'm going to procreate, so pro-choice not what I'm losing Doing the DUI, hopefully I don't troll when I'm boozing Damn, action man, we playing Fortnite I'm getting burnt out, so I take each and every drug all night Hopefully I don't want to see myself in World War 3 I'm gonna have to ask somebody to go ahead and film for me Not that what I can see, I might be a pussy I don't got the guts to hold a gun, don't look at me You wanna see this shit, man? When we arrange and styling My right to bear arms, my rights to steady and lying Damn, how the fuck, man? Look at my eye lighter Holy shit, dog, this beat's going to catch a fire I know you wanna see this shit, dog, no job will hire I got four felony record, dog, so I know that I'm fired I can't get shit, I got no sweet breaks or free deals Hard to come up in this shit when you know they ain't gonna give me a wheel I don't know anybody, dog, they wanna give me in the ocean They wouldn't throw me a fucking bucket if I was drowning in the ocean I got no motion, people don't wanna give me a chance I can't feel shit, I'm dripping like an oak tree with some sap I want you to understand, man, I don't know what the fuck to do I'm like a hard wooden boarding boner, I'm fucking through. I'm stuck to you, clicking like I might be Elmer's blue. Like a small rubber, my dick big going right through. With my size 12 suit, get ready to go up your rectum. I'm acting retarded, they wanna say I'm looking like I'm on the spectrum. 